we're so sorry. Hello, everybody, and welcome in. You are here Hello. for Yearbook Club Winter Break. And before we get into anything, let's go ahead and introduce our players and myself. We are going to start with Parker. Hello, my name is Parker Bliss. You can find me all over the internet under that name, but most importantly, you can find my organized TTRPG content here as I am one of the innkeepers uh, of the Welcome In and I also play in our Saturday campaign, Conundrum Company. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you for being here. Matt. Hello, the beautiful, wonderful stories. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on. I appreciate it so much. I hope you're having an absolutely beautiful time. I'm so excited to go on this little journey with you. Um, my name is Matt, Captain Crail. I stream. I DM the Adamless. Yeah. Welcome in's new show. Uh, every other fucking Wednesday. Uh, the streams that I do is on fucking the Twitch channel, Captain Crail channel, which I stream Mondays, Thursdays, and we play goofs and games. Um, I'll be around tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to goof around and chat. Probably talk about today's stream. So if you want someone to goss with, fucking know where to find me. There you go. Hell yeah. Fucking goss it up with that consummate professional. All right, Morgan. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for being here. My name is R. Morgan Slade. I'm excited for the trauma. Let's do this. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Uh, you can find my uh, TTRPG inspired sea shanties and songs over at YouTube at R Morgan Slade. Um, and uh, my pronouns are he, him. So let's go do this. Perfect. Thank you for being here, Morgan. Aaron. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, I'm Aaron. Hello. I'm known as Obsidian Olive Everywhere, and I am unreasonably excited. You know what? Not so unreasonably excited, because it's really fun to be here, and I really miss these people a whole lot. Uh, but if you like me, you can go to twitch.tv slash the show is a mimic, where I am a co-founder, and also I am the host of the Dice Changers podcast Woo! over yeah. on Spotify, where we talk about TTRPG Woo! stuff. I think that's pretty much everything going on with me. Thank you for being here, Aaron. We miss you very yeah. much, Bubbo. All right, and last but not least, Button. Hello, my name is Button. I am Blue Blue Button on social media. I am here on Saturdays with Parker playing on Conundrum Company, and we will be releasing soon on Delta Cryptid on YouTube, the Sand Sea Saga, which is another 5e campaign. Get in those comments. Whoa. All right. Whoa. Thank you, everybody, for being here. My name is Alec. I will be your dungeon master for this evening. Uh, you can find me all places at Community M. I do all sorts of TTRPG and variety content. I uh, run a weekly campaign called Intelligence Save and soon to be released this coming Tuesday in Save Into the Spider's Web, which is a long shot consisting of the guest characters that have shown up on Intelligence Save so far. So uh, we'd love to see you. Talking We're sick. about a year into this campaign. It's a lot of fun, and we'd love to see you there. We're going to get into some announcements before we get into the game. Parker, you want to tell the folks about our schedule? Sure. Uh, you can find our schedule over on our social medias for the entire month of January. But our week, uh, you can check out Adamless Podcast debuting on Wednesday. Then we've got Off the Rails Woo! Friday at its usual time. It's back. And then Conundrum Company this Saturday at its usual time. So that's our week. But again, you can check out all of our monthly scheduling over on our social medias. Amazing. Thank you so much, Parker. Uh, guys, I'm here to show some love to our sponsors on the channel. First of all, can I get a drum roll, please, from you gamers? Josh isn't here. I have to do it. Skull Splitter Dice. Guys, Skull Splitter Way. Dice sponsors a giveaway of about 100 dice in a skull mug that you can sign up for within the can uh, when you watch these uh, games. So during the breaks, we're going to have two of which today. Uh, so uh, followers get one entry, subscribers get two. Make sure to subscribe before you enter because it's not retroactive and we want to make sure you get all the entries you deserve. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, make sure to check out the weekly campaigns for the One Night Strahd um, uh, sponsorship. It's a lot of fun and it's a very cool product mm -hmm. and uh, it's really great. Guys, we have a Twiki. You want to uh, learn about Conundrum Company Off the Rails and now The Atomless? Go ahead and check out the Twiki. It's got a lot of information. Sloan, Button, everybody in the campaigns work their asses off to make sure that the Twiki is up to date for everybody. So please go ahead and check out that link and check it out. It's amazing. All right. Moving on. Guys, do you want to mod over at the Welcome In? We have mod applications. There's a Google form in chat. Do you want to help everybody out? You want to help me out? I'm out here full time and it's a blast and I yes, love it. You do. <laughs> Yeah. It's a lot of fun. This is an amazing community to be a part of and an even better community to help out. So please go ahead. We're checking those out over the course of the next month and we're going to be getting back to people very, very soon. So please check that out. It's going to be a lot of 
Fun. I'm not faltering. This is very nice. And for our charity this month, <laughs> let me point it out. You really, <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. Our. <laughs> I fucked myself. Our charity for the month is UNICEF, also known as United Nations Children Fund. Uh, it's an agency that helps provide humanitarian efforts and development aid to children worldwide. So please uh, hit the donate link in our about section or the link in chat and support an amazing cause this month. Uh, before you subscribe, drop bits, please check that out. Donate in our name, a friend's name, your name. We would love to see it. And we would love to see you supporting an amazing cause. Okay, gamers, I think that's it. Gamers. I think. <laughs> oh. Fuck right. you, right, dude. That's it. No, you're good. Really uh, to make Alex's life hard. We're so sorry. That's okay. <laughs> We're gonna kiss about it someday, Matthew. You guarantee it. Um, all uh, right. So, you guys ready for some Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh whoa. Last we left off with the Yearbook Club. It had been eight months since the mysterious events at the Mirage Plaza, and the mysteries only continued to grow. It is winter break for those pursuing their higher education, and it is once again time to return home. With everybody a bit trepidatious about the return to Slatemore, tensions were acceptably high. The group reconnected, and there were plenty of hints that strange things had transpired to everyone since the last time they all saw one another in the same group. The YBC chose to avoid any mystical topics until they arrived at their cabin in Summers, Montana, the place where they will spend their holiday season together with their families. This group avoidance led everyone to a party at one Will Carver's house. Uh, there was strange happenings, reintroductions, beer pong, and a decent attempt at being five normal 20-somethings. As the night ended and everyone's departure to Summers began, these same mysterious happenings over the last eight months began to be revealed. Every member of the YBC received a strange and cryptic text message uh, threatening something close to them and urging their pursuit of the enlightened right and the truth in the stars to end. Once settled in the cabin, the group opted for a hot tub honesty hour, and everyone came clean about the thing that they'd been hiding from one another. Becca's ability is causing her pain, Frank being unable to sleep restfully and fully, Terry being detached from his friends and once partner. Rook, unsure of who to trust outside of their group, and Poppy revealing that three entities dubbed the Watchers offered them a deal. Find this rebellious entity known as the Outsider, stop those who worship and embolden it, and close the gate to the Outsider's realm. If this is done, the y and the YBC gives up their alien abilities, their lives will return to a semblance of normalcy. If not, Poppy loses their aspects what the Watchers say makes anyone human. We pick up in the hot tub room where the group conversations and winter break continue. Guys, the floor is yours. So we have just kind of, we're, we're in the midst of this uh, this hot tub honesty hour. The floor is yours, go for it. We decided not to drink alcohol while we were doing this, right? Like that was a, that was a decision that was made at one point. I believe so. I, I believe that there was a strictly yeah, it was strictly it was a hot chocolate moment. I believe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, was. it was dry hours, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I am going to. I think I imagine that conversation lasted. How long did it last? I, I'd say that so conversation. Hot. It's probably been about forty minutes. Like, it's, it's been a little bit in this room. So just so everybody knows, that thing that I did to make sure that no one could hear us is going to go away pretty soon. Um, I think I dropped most of the stuff that I wanted to out in the open. I don't know if anyone else has some last-minute reveal they want to pull off, but I think no. that's about what, what I was going to say. So much a reveal, but um, I learned some things, kind of cryptic things about the enlightened right. Um, just that it seems like they have two leaders, a man and a woman. They are very upset, and that Slatemore was supposed to be something big at the Mirage Plaza. But when we ended things, um, they decided to seek the truth in the stars. I also learned that we are what they consider enlightened. So I imagine that they are seeking out superpowers for themselves. 
They are pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, they are. I say as I float above the, the hot tub flying, literally. Fair. It's like, this is just fun. I can see why somebody would want something like this. I know I that know not everybody... that's why they want to do it. I mean, yeah, I was going to say, I don't... I know that not all of them are blessings. I'm sorry, Frank, you know, Becca. <sighs> Float back into the hot tub. <laughs> do we have any idea, like, how to do this? How to do what? What you're telling us that we have to do. Like, how do we stop them? Where are they? What are we doing? They did not tell me where these people are. The Watchers told me that the Enlightened Right would find us. Oh, great. And we're sure that these Watchers are good? No. But they are not the people who tried to kill us. They are on the opposite side of the people who tried to kill us at the Mirage Plaza. I feel like they can't be great if instead of just asking for help, they were like, hey, but if you don't do it, we're taking your soul. I asked them to protect my papa first. These were just their terms. Right. Does that extend to the rest of our family or is this going to be an issue? Is or is this to... just your your dad? I asked them to do this as soon as I got the text. When I when I got that text, it was yes. right after I dispelled that first stone. Mm -hmm. I got it with a picture of my father sleeping. I ran to his room and opened the door, and there was a figure standing there, over my father. Mm -hmm. With gray eyes. Right. With I... those... Um, Alec, would those eyes have reminded them of the Watchers? No. No, okay. The human. I asked the Watchers to protect him after this event, before I realized that any of your family might be in danger. Yeah, I just, um... I mean, I guess my point is, like, I know you couldn't say anything, but, like, now the rest of our family might be in danger if we do anything, because none of us made that deal. So, maybe we should figure that out, because I don't, I mean, like, your dad being safe is great and all, but that doesn't cover the rest of us. I did not realize your family was in danger, or I would have made a bigger deal. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I only found I'm... out today. Can we meet these Watchers? That's a good question. Um, I imagine I will have to drop this spell to try and invite them. So, right, aliens do. at a hot tub party. Why not? Do you? I can also <laughs> not do it if you want. Yeah, what I was going to say was, what was like? You talked about an eye, right? You talked about eyes. Can you describe that a little bit more, real quick? Um. Alec, all that yep. I have is that there were like these steel gray eyes, mm -hmm. and everything else about the figure was kind of it was it was hidden behind, it was obfuscated by shadow and the cloak it was wearing. The most visible feature were these stark slate eyes peering at you, almost illuminating um, some of the space in front, but the features still obfuscated. And does this sound like the eyes that started to open up when I tried to open up my my little private dimension? Give me an Arcana check. Okay. <laughs> I'm good at these. Uh, As ooh. someone who saw that... You can assist if you like. Eyes, oh. I'd love to assist. Please, yeah, yeah roll with advantage. Oh, thank you. 22. 22, yes. They look eerily similar. <sighs> to so what Poppy is describing. So, it seems like... These people have the ability to look. We knew a little bit from the texts and stuff like that, that these people could watch us. But it seems like based off of what showed up when I tried using my powers is they might be able to see when we use our powers, too. That's a it's kind of a big deal. 
That's why I cast this spell that it's called scrying. I cast a spell so that people couldn't for a little while. But um, unless it is up, I imagine they can see us. Okay. In that case, I'm going to go put some clothes on and <laughs> get out of the. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Get out of the hot tub and uh, go back to my room to put some actual like okay. clothes on. Frank isn't wearing the chicken suit. Frank is naked. <laughs> Jesus. Without, without the chicken suit, Frank is nothing. I got trunks. I got trunks. I brought trunks. You brought trunks. Chicken themed trunks. Naked. He brought <laughs> trunks, gamers. All right. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so with Frank's departure, is that everybody aiming to kind of exit the space? Um, Poppy would like to pull Rook aside really quick, if that's all right. Sure. Mm -hmm. Hey there. I'm really sorry. I just wanted to say it now before this drops. I um, I scried on your father. Um, after this happened, because I suspected him. I wanted to apologize for doing that, and also let you know that. He didn't seem to understand. I messaged him while I scried, and he didn't seem to understand anything about the Enlightened Rite. So I'm sorry for presuming that that might be the case, too. No, you've, uh... I guess you've saved us a lot of time, because I would have also assumed. And it's okay, he's... He's one less person we have to worry about if this thing is targeting our parents. But I appreciate it, you telling me. On the subject of parents, I also had a conversation with your mama. Hmm. She left. And I thought I should tell you about that too, but only if you are okay to hear it. How is Rook looking at that information? Uh, like, like the the unease of saying, "Oh, I scribed on a parent," wasn't in his face when it was. I scribed on your dad. Is like, okay, yeah, sure. And it's like, I scribed on your mom. He's like, "Ooh, that's I did weird." Not, I did not scry on your mama. We talked in person. Oh. The day she left. Ah. Right. She. She wanted to wait, give you space, reach out to her. But this is hard. I think she loved you very much, but I think she blamed herself for allowing your father to be the no. way he was to you. It's none of our fault, neither of ours. It's. It's okay. Um, I am um, okay. There's this little hand on Rook's arm. I know you know that. And I'm glad you know that about yourself as well. I just wanted to let you know that she has not gotten to that point yet. Um, she well, love you. While this is happening, I need Becca to just give me a general perception check. Okay. That is not something she's good at. <laughs> That's a six. Oh, no. I'm looking at my cuticles. You've What's been, up? You've been feeling strange the last couple days. Uh -huh. um, as you're kind of checking your cuticles, would you say it's fair that she just kind of plays with her hair? Yeah, probably. Over the course of the last eight months, you remember seeing pieces of white? That seems to be spreading a bit. Larger strands of white hair are beginning to bleed from your head. She sinks further into the hot tub, hoping that if she gets her hair wet, no one will notice. Got it. 
on your way down, you actually passed me because ever since we finished the conversation, Terry has been holding breath, going underwater, feeling it for like two, three minutes till the lungs start to burn, popping up, taking a breath, and going back down. She just sinks. I think she's sitting in the hot tub, but like here. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I didn't mean, to, yeah, go for no, it. No, no, you're all good. You're all good. Rook puts his hand on Poppy's and squeezes it. Uh, thank you. I, um. Uh, mm. No, I appreciate you. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate you, and I'm sorry. I. I know that they're hard things to hear, but but honesty hour and you deserve to know you're loved. Uh, Rook has a brief dot around the room, the different YBC members. I know, I know, I am. Uh, yeah, no, I know. Uh, um, Rook, as you're scoping the space, give me a perception check. Oh, I'd fucking love to do that. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would. I gave you something to look for, baby. Pretty five. Uh, <laughs> I actually, I seventeen. I actually rolled a four. Really? So I'm not doing it really very good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You don't. <laughs> you miss it. All right. Moving on. Um. Yeah, I'm. I, I've been meaning honestly, hour and all. Um, I didn't. I didn't mean to. When um, everything happened a few months ago, and I left, and I didn't know where to go. I didn't mean to impose. I didn't know you had people staying with you. I know that I just kind of turned up, but I know I, I felt safe. Um, I felt safe in, you know, I, I wanted, uh, you seem uh, just to have such a good family. I think I just needed to know that that was possible. I shouldn't have just turned up. I'm, I am sorry. There is no apology needed. If anything, I'm glad who have given you a slice of the safety you <clears throat> give everybody else. Deserve it, and it's... You are you always will... welcome. You always give me that safety, Pop. You know that. <laughs> I think their arms just kind of drop and, like, extend outward. <laughs> just silently, they just offer a hug. Yeah. Rook, Rook, Rook hesitates for a few seconds and like uh, uh like is as like uh, they moved their hand away from uh poppy's hand and then started like squeezing their palm in a i don't i don't know how to do these talks and then does does go and hug and and hugs poppy okay me neither um all right so frank you are just kind of Collecting yourself and grabbing your things, getting ready. Yeah, I think I'm sharing a room with the the other two. The boys, boys, boys. We got the boys, boys, boys. All right. Yeah, um, yeah just yeah. Yeah. So you're you're doing that. Um, all of you it, it get a group chat um, from Max. Mm. Is everybody free in about twenty minutes? Just a security debrief for everybody. Caden's handling the parents. I will talk with all of you. Question mark send. I think Becca immediately. Sounds great. Great. I wouldn't even know about the text until someone pointed it out to me. I'm going to keep this perpetual cycle of not drowning. That's <laughs> very fun. I was going to say Rook also doesn't notice until someone yeah. points it out to them. Yeah. Frank is just gonna put a GIF uh, response <laughs> of, <laughs> of 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 uh, Elmo fuming at the rock. Just be like, <laughs> Poppy pulls out their phone, alerting um, Rook and um, <laughs> Terry. 
Yeah, that sounds perfect. What do you think, guys? I think you're the only two who haven't responded. Uh, passive. 28 passive perception, everybody. <laughs> Can't catch a goddamn text. <laughs> Selective hearing. I love you, buddy. I'm kidding. Literally, yeah. Like, I don't. Rook has a 28 passive perception, but about dangers and friends. Fuck all about Aww. everything else. And <laughs> strategy. Only strategy. All exactly. California, Whereas... it's literally just Becca being like, hey, you should respond to the group chat. <laughs> Becca's like, what the, the fuck, dog? <laughs> uh, or she responds for both. She's like, we're good. Is like, with that 28 <laughs> passive, that's three times more than my passive because mine Jesus is nine. fucking Christ. Do you, know what's, oh. do you know what's something just to say? Because we were all talking about, like, literally as soon as we started gaming there was the mention of like us getting superpowers i have i just had the in my mind that rook's rook got this hyper perception of things like that's their power that is sense. they got like yeah so they can kind of hear shit all the time so that might like hear and see stuff and that might come up later i'm just informing everyone that i thought i thought of that when everyone was like superpowers Encanto is really good, and y'all should watch it. Um, yes. Can I really quick ask <laughs> something good. just for for clarification? Are Rook's prono pronouns they, he, or they? Um, or... I it's it's I I. It is he him. I have okay. considered. He they, but I don't think Rook has. Okay, yet. I just wanted to be yeah. respectful. Okay. So that was I'm a good clarifier. Thank him. you. Okay. I was also hung up on that, so I appreciate it. Great. That. Yep. Thank you for the clarifier. Okay. So, um, this this twenty minutes, everybody kind of gets together, cleans up after hot tub honesty hour. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> just really proud of that alliteration. It's a really good time. Good. Um, and you all kind of gather within your uh, living space in this cabin as there's just a uh, knock on your door. Come in. To answer it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a nice. yell from a living room. Um. Becca, you see it first. Um, you see Max in a black security outfit, a tall turtleneck with a tack vest. Um, he is wearing tactical pants, high militaristic boots. Um, he has a rifle on his back, and both of his arms are exposed. That's so cool. Hello, Winter Soldier. Ready? Really? <laughs> Thank you. I, I, yeah, he looks it, genuinely proud. He's like, I appreciate that a lot. I love the wow. TV show. That dude is so hot. Anyway, let's. Uh... <laughs> yeah, let's talk about security. Um, cool. <laughs> That's sick, actually. Thank you so much. He's beaming. Um, he just kind yeah, of. Yeah, we're in the living room. Great. Um, he walks <laughs> in the living room in front of everybody. Holy shit! Hello, town boy. You just look. The fuck. That's a good look. Thank you. Are we going to rob a bank? This is no, wild. I'm just doing secure. I'm sorry. No, we're gonna take down Hydra. Damn. Doesn't he look like the Winter Soldier? Yeah, he yeah, looks yeah, like yeah, a baddie. Yeah. It's my mission. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but like, sure. Okay. It's that show that I was watching that you didn't pay attention to. I don't. I don't oh see it. yes. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yep. We'll show good. you later the trip. Check actually, I think I'm gonna have it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, oh, hi. No, I'm no, I'm here. No. My name is uh, Max Grant. I'm here to. You know that. I'm sorry. Hi. I'm we sorry. all have a quite a storied history together. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm realizing that now. 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 Anyway, my name's. Oh, little Casper off. Nice I know that. Thank you. Sorry. Um, I am assigned your security liaison. I'm not your security detail because the conversation that Caden and I had is that we are both quite aware that you're all capable of defending yourselves and each other. Mm -hmm. We're not dumb. Mm -hmm. The only reason I'm with you is because I have similar capabilities and I may actually be of help. Okay. Um, Kaden is having the not fun conversation with all of your parents right now that they're the ones that are under security. There will be, they have a panic room. They, yes. Um, so I will be doing daily routine check-ins with everybody. Uh, just making sure that things here are operating fine. Uh, if things do go awry, I implore you to text or call me. Um, and just let me know so we can follow that line of communication and get your parents to safety. Um, and I will make myself present whenever I can. Um, so it, it's, it's fairly simple. I know that you are all far more versed in what's happening than I am and Caden is than your families are. Um, 
my goal is to work with you. Um, if there are any questions, please shoot them my way. EM question, how far away is the parents' cabin? Uh, it's, I mean, it's not even, it's probably about five, six hundred feet away. Like, it's not, it's okay. nothing crazy. It's close. Um, I mean, I guess that's fine by me. How long will it take? Will what take? These check-ins? Mm. Me shooting you a text and everybody responding. Okay, sure. I don't aim to impose. You can do that. I'm not imposing. I mean, regardless, oh. it's just easy. I will do perimeter checks. As I do perimeter checks, I will send you a group chat in the chat that I created, and all I need is confirmation. If I feel anything further is needed, I'll ask for a selfie confirmation, or I'll call the group. It's that easy. I don't aim cool. to impose on this space. So, anything I'm doing, it's just to help. That's all I have. Um, Sounds good. Is there anything we can do to help you? Make yourselves available if I text respond expeditiously. Um, that if you if you don't see it and things happen, that's fine. But just keep an eye out for each other. And if you do notice it and somebody else doesn't, let them know. Because if there's X amount of time where I get nothing, I have to come in here. That's it. I'm sorry. Um. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, yep, that's it. Thank you. Um, awesome. And he just kind of uh, nods at everybody and walks out. He follows really fast. <sighs> okay. We'll stick with the group real quick just to see if there's any interaction here. Um, can I? I wasn't in the room when Max told the boys that Correct. they would be coming up here. Can I roll an insight or something or like see how they're reacting to this? Sure, go for it. If you guys are trying to mask your emotions, please give me a deception check. That's Absolutely. a natural 20. Natural 20. There you go. Oh! Natural, natural 20 I, plus 3. I am three. so caught 23. between a nat 20 and a 14, and I'm so sad <laughs> that right now. <laughs> That would have been amazing. That would have been phenomenal. Okay. Ooh, but that's still an 18 plus my deception is relatively high. It's a 23. I got meets a 23. It, meets it, beats it, unfortunately. Uh, I really and Frank, you're not aiming to disguise anything? Okay. No, I'm not aiming. So what, is, what does she glean from your guys' emotions at this point? Oh, we'll start with, uh, we'll start with Terry. Oh, the reason he's trying to deceive is because he doesn't know what he's feeling right now. Mm. Uh, the entire, like, briefing, he was, like, on board, yes. Security, yes. We're here, yes. We can take care of ourselves way better than any cop can. And he's concentrated, focused, and then every time the word Caden is said, he is just a broken person. Just okay. does not know how to deal with that conversation. Um, okay. But other than that, he's not trying to hide a whole lot. It seems mostly interpersonal issues for him. Okay. We'll go Frank. Uh, Frank was like listening the whole time, but he was like a little annoyed. You would have noticed, mm -hmm. um, like specifically at Max. Um, and then you would have also noticed that that annoyance would have kind of like amplified when he saw Poppy fall after. Okay. Rook? Um, Rook has been quite vocal about the fact that he doesn't think that anyone should be getting involved in their business. Um, and the fact that they don't give a, they don't care about, about like, it's like, we don't, we don't fucking, we don't need this. This is nonsense. And also the fact that they want just some time alone, uh, visibly, like, actually frustrated. Uh, probably, like, if they were in the front room if they were like drinking just like a water or whatever would like like the cup would like goes down harder than it should 
uh, as they're not trying to hide anything. They fully um, it's it's just like uh, trying to think of like they wanted ag- another again just yeah. some time mm-hmm. with with them. We just had like a big meeting, and yeah. then we're going on to another big meeting, and it's like. Mm-hmm. Rook is just getting frustrated with all of that. Yeah. Um, okay. Then I think uh, Becca probably stands there, like looking at all three of them for a second, pulls her phone out, texts Poppy, just a private message. Hey, don't keep Max here very long. Okay, thanks. Uh, and then um, she, I think, leaves Terry alone. Um, she, like, does not know how to handle whatever's ha- happening with Frank uh, with the watching. Uh, <laughs> so she's like, okay, safe as bet. <laughs> she walks to Rook. Uh, are you good? We're, I mean, like, he's gonna leave. Like, I know. I know. I know. And I've already talked about it with him, but I just five minutes... I, you know? I, yeah. I get it. <sighs> it's I, fine. I know. I know it's fine. I mean, you're allowed to be upset. I mean, we're all allowed to... <sighs> okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm talking directly to Becca. Yes. Can I notice hair? Can I? No, it's hair. Oh, yeah. 20% every day of the week. Yep. (laughs) Um, Like, just nod softly at just like, just like past it, like a back bit of hair. I think she very consciously moves it behind another curl. Hmm. Yes. Totally fine. Maybe need some hair dye, possibly. It's a good look on you. But Thank you. Conscious look? Or... No. no, 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 no. That's before we got into the. That wasn't there before we got into the hot tub. <sighs> well, maybe you know. Maybe my hair doesn't. Yeah, that's dumb. Uh, no, it wasn't there. No. Well, I mean, it's kind of sort of sort of been happening, but not like that's like a that's like a that's a full that's a full thing. Um, But Mm. I mean, I think that and this is me saying this. So like, you know, but I think um, I think we've got a lot more stuff going on than like my appearance, which is who very hard to say. Um, But, you know, uh, (laughs) yeah, Mm, that there's. Things could be put on hold. There's nothing more important than just you. You know that. I mean, there's some stuff that's more important than me. Like, the world. And yes, and but... the rest of our friends. And Poppy's soul. But are you not the important person in the world? Important person in this group? Okay. Yeah. I got, I, okay. Thank you. Yes. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got it. Did you see how Frank looked at Poppy? Yeah. When they Mm. left. Mm. Also, Max and Poppy, not a thing, apparently. Because when I asked if it was a thing, Poppy didn't even know what thing I might be referencing, so. Oh. I thought it was a thing. I had some suspicions, but I don't know. Yes, okay, that's interesting. That's good. I have some... Yes, okay. Mm. I I think they have, like, a, a sibling dynamic. Mm. But who knows? Right, okay. Anyway, get enough track. As you guys begin Are to theorycraft, we will... Yeah, as we gossip. Over. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Poppy, you chase um, Max going outside. I know that was really hard for you, and I'm really proud no, of you. it's fine. It's fine. It was it was the right thing to do in the job. That's all I'm here to do. So it's all good. I cannot 
tell people how to feel. But it is the case that you are considered enlightened too. This happened to you as I, well. It's not, it isn't. In, we have a support system and you don't. That is important. I, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, I'm here to do the right thing. Regardless of my support system, regardless of who's has my back, nothing else matters but the right thing. They can uh, look at me. They can judge my presence. I, I fucking don't care. I'm doing the right thing. You are. And that's all I'm going to do. And I will not impose any further. I'm not upset at you. I'm not upset at anybody. I understand. I deeply understand. But they have to understand, I don't want to fucking be here either. This is the last thing I want to be up, up against. I know that. And I'm sorry. It's... it's... It's fine. I... All I want to do is get home. I know, and that's why I have to tell you these things really fast. I told you I would make the deal, and I did. When I did so, I was told that they would come to find us. And that seems like something you have to know. I can't let you be sidelined by that. And if you ever need my help, I will be there like that. Don't. I won't. I'll be okay. Thank you for the warning. I just... Come in, raiders. What's in, what is important to me is everybody's safety. That's it. That's all I care about. I'm going to make myself scarce. I will text the group when I have to, and I will do nothing past that. It's nobody's fault. Nobody's wrong. I think with just their mind on the reason why Max's arms look the way they do and why he's here in the first place, they just kind of shake their head in disagreement, but they don't say anything. Okay. I have fun. Hang out with your friends. It's important. That's what matters. Go. You're my friend, and you're important, and you matter. I know. Please ask for help if you need it. I know you keep saying you don't, and you won't. They just grab his arm, pat it, and then... Start heading back inside. I'll leave you alone now. Just defeated. Walks around. Walks away. Um. Okay. You guys all coalesce within the space. So, are we still inside? Like Max just came around to inform us and then immediately left. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Came to give the plan and then um, fucked off. I'm sorry. I was I was distracted when Max is talking to us. Where did he say he was hanging out at? Like if we needed him. Uh, he's just gonna like text us, but I think they're more focusing on our parents' cabin because yeah. we can take care of ourselves. Uh, so. Uh, okay, well, everybody seems super tense. Again. No. Oh, 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 do I? Uh, and Frank just, like, takes a deep breath and spends a, spends a point of rage to just become really focused and really chill all of a sudden. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, and you guys should be able to place your tokens wherever you're... Heck yeah, cabin! You want them to be... Cabin, cabin, cabin. I love the cabin. I love the cabin design. Can we give I'm a sure small shout out to in. our 
dungeon master for making this. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Did beautiful. you know that he has yeah. much? Shut the fuck up. Get out of here. This, this, is, is, not this is not my house. This is not my house. I will not do that here. Not my I'm gonna house. go ham on this. Is this cheese wheel or is that bread? Yeah, you got, you guys got food there. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> Matt, you Heck absolute yeah. nightmare. Thank you, Bubby. I appreciate you. Um, but yes, you you guys are all kind of coalescing in the kitchen, and um, there's food. I imagine that's already kind of laid out for you. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'm, I'm gonna get some chips. I'm gonna take that cheese. I'm gonna just take my finger and start melting the cheese on there with a little bit of fire. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, fresh fresh queso. I... Question: <laughs> Is Becca with us in the dining hall, or is Becca in the bedroom? Because they have multiplied to me. Oh no! Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Why am I? Oh, I am both in there. Are there oh, doppelgangers wow. in this game? I must know. Know. Is that? They're gone. Go. I, um, I don't put that past Alec though. I think like, so. yeah, right. Legitimately, like that the one was be... on me, dude. That would be very scary. Yeah. I couldn't find my token. <laughs> uh no. Um. No clones here, folks. Yeah. Inside check? Go for it. <laughs> On him. Uh, so, I know I said this earlier, but is this really just a sit around and wait for something bad to happen time? Did anybody bring any board games? I mean, there's the D&D uh, &D stuff that we dropped off in the other room. Yeah, there's, we have a D&D &D table. I have always honestly wanted to play that game. I just haven't had anybody together to, like, you know, oh. try it out. So have you have you played before? I DM all the time for the dads. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. Poppy, do you want to play? Mm. Like, I know it sucks to get stuck as the forever DM. That's okay. We can okay. we can do that. We should, let's, we can do D&D. &D. Frank, I'd love to be your first DM, Um, but really fast there were things we wanted to do right things that might we might want to do because i don't just want to be a sitting duck you know waiting for bad guys to come and get us all right but is okay. that what we're doing like we're we're just gonna hang out and 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 wait i would like to research the enlightened right i did research on my own but i think i will do a better job with all of your amazing brains too I did a lot of like, like, um, like, uh, well, research into like supernatural sort of stuff or like cryptids and things. Um, I mean, honestly, like fashion merchandising could do it in my sleep. And college is really easy. Um, so I've just kind of been doing that. I don't know if that's going to help though. Uh, but sure, I mean, I could, I could help if you wanted. Um, I, but also maybe, uh, and I think she's gonna like look at all of her fr friends, looking so upset. Um, and being who she is, she's just gonna be like, you know, I think since we're gonna be stuck here, uh, until you know, after holidays and things, uh. Uh, just wait. <laughs> She's gonna run back to her room, <laughs> uh, and pull out a like one of her like really ridiculously large suitcases uh, that I think probably everybody just assumed was full of outfit changes. Um, <clears throat> and she's going to open it and uh, return to the kitchen with uh, like arms entirely full of wrapped presents. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, we're gonna pull these out now. I thought it's perfect. Are we before or after no, Christmas? I forget. And I'm asking this in game. He does not know. Uh, it is uh, before Christmas. I... Did you get gifts? I couldn't. I didn't I... get. I didn't bring anything. I yeah no. I this is. I don't expect everybody to have gifts, but I did get everybody gifts okay uh and she's just gonna walk and like put everybody's present in front of them in the table and they all have different wrapping paper uh like she's very specific so like poppies all have very like pretty like flowers on them and terry's have little like record players and rooks have little chess pieces and then frank's is covered in chickens um <laughs> and so she's just like okay who wants to go first 
Oh, I do. Okay. And Frank uh, just like. Uh, okay. Uh, I. This is. I didn't. Well, now it probably works even better. But I know that your dad snores, so I got you, and you open it, and is a uh, case with an iPod and a um, and noise canceling headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. So I thought you might like this. Yeah. What? That's awesome. Yeah. That's a fucking good gift. Right, 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 right. Okay, who wants to go next? I'm going to reach into my Come back on. pocket and pull out a switchblade. I don't think you need that. It Honestly, I bought it at the airport on the way here. I thought it looked cool. Okay. It's, it's not an actual cool. switchblade. If you look at it, it's it's basically just plastic, but I, I didn't know that when I bought it. So I just they let you it over. buy a switchblade at the airport? No, look, it's look, it's plastic, and I poke myself, and it's, ah, it's still kind of sharp. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's plastic. Oh. It's like a prop. Um, but I'm going to poke into the wrapping paper with it instead of going with the hands. Dink. Saving the wrapping paper. You're yeah, saving the wrapping. Terry is a saving the wrapping paper person. Save the wrapping paper. Crazy, crazy people. Always save the wrapping paper. Mm -hmm. So what's 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 in my gift? I'm gonna open it all the uh, It is a Bluetooth stereo turntable. So it is a. Uh, it's like it looks like a like a turntable, but it's it's a Bluetooth stereo version. This is the nicest thing that I own. <laughs> How Yay. am I gonna get this home in my one duffel bag? Oh, I, I can. I mean, like, I can, yeah, yeah, it's fine. I brought okay. them in. A, it's good. It. We can put it in the box, but hey, you can, okay. you know, come, yeah. Come, I'm gonna okay. do this once a day. You get yes. one. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I just give a huge hug. And yeah. Then I need, oh, and it's got a USB and. Yeah. Fuck yeah. It's Bluetooth <laughs> and it has yeah. Mm -hmm. We can pull yeah. it out and like set it up in the living room if you want, or like in your room because we're gonna be here for a little bit. I am okay. already opening the tape. Next. Puppy, I'll go go? Next. Yeah. yeah. I, I opened the very pretty flower wrapping paper. Uh, there is, uh, <laughs> there is a like smaller box in there. Um, that is a eight cup one touch coffee maker. So it's like a really really fancy like espresso coffee maker machine. Oh. Um, and then a little uh, like build a bear uh, squirrel dressed as an EMT. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god! Oh my goodness! I, I can have this at work. Ben will be less grumpy here. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, and oh. so she will uh, then uh, look at Rook. Uh, okay. Sure. Your turn. Uh, Rook opens the gift. It is a House of Stanton, the Championship Series. Uh, chess set box and rosewood tournament board combo so it is a like very fancy like traveling uh, chess competition set yeah, yeah this is great thank you yes yeah. oh. okay yeah so now we have things to use while we're here i you know it's it makes more sense than like giving it on then anyway so well we can <laughs> we can just happy holidays mine's <laughs> Poppy runs the same room and it's it's not nearly as like beautifully decorated as Becca's and it's just this one Christmas bag. They run back out really fast. You cannot give gifts and not get gifts. That's not how this works. Anyway, these are all the same. And they take out these scrapbooks um, and they each just have everyone's name on them, but they're all the same. Their father being a photographer, they're all these candidates of the yearbook <gasps> club. And it's only, they're only like, like maybe 10 pages filled. The rest is completely empty for memories they make later. And there are no pictures of the Mirage Plaza. Yes, sir. <sighs> you, have to, you have to get something when you, it's, it has to be two ways three. This is great. Reminds me of your book. Exactly. Anyway, I thought that would be like a good way to get everybody a little less stressed. No. So, very good, thank you. Becca, you're wonderful. Thanks. You know, it was fun. Yeah. I like cooking everybody's gifts. Right. You know what I like to do? Hmm? Just one drink. We'll put on the music from Terry's record player, and we'll we'll have a drink, some food, 
and we we can discuss after a brief break. Does that you know, sound good for everyone? That sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. Frank, do you want have... to help me go get some firewood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like a good idea. Okay. Um, as Rook, as you and Frank go outside to go uh, grab some firewood, please give me a perception check. Fucking hell. 25. 13. Frank, you don't see it. Rook, you clock it. Uh, you see an individual clad in white winter wear sitting um, just watching. Um, let's see if... You're not being stealthy, I imagine. You're nope. just grabbing firewood. Um, kind of looks toward you. Well, shit, we weren't supposed to meet this way. Um, I can fuck off if you're doing something important. I was... I wanted to talk with my friend, but... Do that, then. Frank, um, I haven't been feeling very strong recently. I'm going to wrap this up and make it quicker. Mm. Um, do you know what I do when I don't feel like strong or, or, or in control? I, I, I play chess. I know it seems silly, but it's the thing that I'm I, I'm very good at it. It gets out energy for me. I can look at a board and I can analyze it and it's 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 a it's a good way to get out some form of aggression. Uh Rook has like has walked over to the the like the bit where you cut wood. Yeah. So there's an axe there. Rook picks it up and like I know you've been feeling, um, you've been feeling some way, and what I was hoping to do is help you get out some of, some of your anxiety and anger. Um, I know it's been tough, Uh, hands, uh, Frank the Axe, I know it's been tough, but, um, it seems like We might have someone who's going to help us get this anger out. Why are you here? I'm not here to hurt you. I actually come with information for you. And... I was hired to keep an eye on you, Cordale. Specifically. But... It is... Not for anything nefarious. I guarantee you that. Wouldn't get this close if I was intending to kill you. Guarantee. I promise you that. I, um... Took me a while to... Learn everything I needed to to feel comfortable enough to accept this job. You're looking into a fringe organization, right? Something... Strange? I'm just having a winter break vacation. Great, I can take the information and fuck off then. Well, there's a group who you must know about. They tell us what we need to know. And you coming here... I'm not going to gain anything that I need from the cops. You're on the pulse of the thing, all of you are. I'm not an idiot. They don't know anything I can spit tell it out, you then. I can no, tell spit you it out go on no please I'm I'm looking at your face and I'm getting frustrated that's nice I'm here get used to it it's not leaving no my frustration does tend to stay that's fair Doesn't really go down so well your father hired me 
Just wanted to make sure you were safe. Told him I don't know what I can do. I'm a man with a gun. But he hired me all the same. I'm here. And along the way, talked to somebody who had some interesting pieces of information. I figured they'd be of use, and I'm here to see an old friend. So. Takes off the mask. The information. Well, I'd like to talk to everybody. No, you were hired for me. You can definitely talk to me. Frank is here. Yeah. Well. I have a phone with Simone Kent's number. Her and her team found some very interesting things. Figured they'd be of use to all of you. Especially seeing as... This group going to be here by the end of the week. Figured help you get prepared. Frank, I am sorry. I did want to bring you out to talk. I, uh, I appreciate you very much. This conversation is not over. It can be over if you want it to be over. And Frank just closes the distance with this weird dude. Mm -hmm. And just stops like five feet. Man doesn't flinch. He's not paying any attention to you, Frank. Frank rages. Go for it. How does this manifest? Oh, you just... Uh, he would likely see the same stoicism in Frank that he believes he's displaying himself. Very little time. Yeah. Very little. What's your name? Ivan. Casper Neck. Is your purpose here just to get inside of the house and tell us information, or...? Like I said, hired to protect you, or to keep an eye on you. I don't think I can protect you. I'm not a fool. You're far more capable of doing things that I couldn't even imagine. That is I'm true. not dense to that. And also, selfishly, I want to see a friend. Say hi, then I leave. Fair? No. Great. Who's your friend? Poppy. Grew up together. Have some information for them too. That has nothing to do with you. Not here to fight. Hopefully. I'd lose. That's apparent. What's our call, Frank? We can pass it along for you. Good luck in a week. Let's walk away. Ooh, it just turns to Rook. Are we going to do this? Uh... Stop. What? I can take the blood out of your body. You know that. Go for it. You have no information. I don't... If you want to kill me, do it. You're the one that's going to lose out in the end. That's not on me, Cordale. I was not hired to kill you. I would have stayed 500 meters away and taken shots. I would have planted explosives. There's nothing here. I have information and I want to say hi to an old friend. They're away with your magic powers. You can tell if I'm lying or not. Go for it. I have no ill intent for you. Truly. Why not just knock at the door? Kind of takes the breath out of hidden mercenary thing, you know? 
And plus, your father did not want you to know I was here. But you came up to me anyway. Because you saw me. I saw you see me. No intention of hiding then. It seems more suspicious. If I just come up and say, hey, hire to make sure you live. So this information is only worthwhile if I spot you? <laughs> yeah. So if I didn't spot you, you would have just... I would have just knocked on the door. <laughs> at some point and left the phone. But you spot me, so now we're in this predicament. How many more of you are there? Is it's it just, just you? me. Fucking hell. Um, You're not talking to them alone. I didn't intend no. to. I don't okay, even know then, if they remember who I am. Should we just so. get this over with now? Yeah, let's little, get little, it over with. All right, little. we have drinks inside. Come, sit at their table, why don't you? Okay. The group, uh, Poppy, or Poppy, I'm drunk. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> Uh, Rook and Frank, you uh, guys walk inside as um, anything happening inside at this instant. Uh, I imagine. At this... oh. yeah, no, first. you go for it. You go for it. You go for it. No. No, you. Terry, go. All right, fine. So, uh, as, uh, as they've left at this point, Terry was assuming we were done with serious business for the day. So, at this point, it's hooking up karaoke in the front room, and uh, because the fire is going and he runs hot anyway, it's just shirtlessly singing to himself in the front room whenever they walk in. That's whatever was going on with Terry. Please go, Poppy. I imagine they're just setting up D&D &D sheets. Mm. They're, like, empty <laughs> character sheets for everybody. They're like, okay, we can do this. We can do this on the fly. I've, I can do a one-shot. I can just, like... Snag something out of Faeron, and it'll be good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Becca, anything? Um, she probably just helped Terry set up the Bluetooth stereo. Great. Okay. Uh, with that, you guys hear the front door opening. Uh, you see Rook and Frank walk in, visibly frustrated, hey kind of deflated. Uh, behind them, you see an individual uh, who takes off his ski mask, um, you see a man standing at about 6'3", uh, shaved black hair, uh, deep gray eyes, tattoos that you begin to see peeking from the neck. Um, Poppy, give me a history check with advantage, please. Um, he is dressed in white military getup, vest. Um, Rook and Frank, you would have seen, he left his guns and bags outside. He left everything outside. Um... So, if I might, uh, like... Please, yeah, go for it. Uh, would you mind if I said, because they were going to go chop wood, they I'm pinging on the map. Yeah. They re-entered in this... Through the back door? Yeah, with yeah. this slightly smaller room. Uh, more than, yeah. They, Valid. if, like, they go in first, Rook is not scared of them and fully knows that, like, is, like... I know that we can fucking eviscerate you, so I'm not scared of yeah. your damaging anyone. Um, because I, I, they tend to Frank. Um, Perfect. They, they like, they stop and like. I wanted to. I, I wanted this. Uh, just some time with us. I'm sorry. I know I've been distant. I care about you so much, and I am sorry about the fear that you feel. Because I, I feel it when you feel it. I understand. I am sorry. I want to make this better. I wish we had some time. Rook and Frank, for you, as this begin, as this course of conversation begins to happen, Ivan walks out of the door and shuts it and stands outside waiting, looking away. Hmm. Gives you the room. I wish it could be better, and I wish I could fix. I wish I could fix. I will try, and I'm sorry that you can't sleep. I'm sorry that you have... I'm sorry that you feel like... I don't know, you have to 
be angry to stabilize or whatever it is. I don't know. But I feel sometimes you calm in a way that is clearing your mind but unhealthy coming from me. I understand. I don't... I'm sorry. I'm a bit flustered. I appreciate <laughs> you. I'm sorry. I appreciate you too. Yeah. Just, you know what? I, I wanted to talk to you too real quick. I know we don't have a lot of time. Um, I'm of, of all of us, I think you're, you're the one to talk to about this. Um, you do see the permutations. I get that. That's your thing, right? I, I don't want to lose this. Do you want to lose this? Not. No. Like, we don't have to get into the weeds about it, but if there's a way to save both, I would like to save both. Would you like to save both? I, um... I, maybe... I... <laughs> I, uh, I thought you couldn't, I thought you wanted them gone. No, 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 We were all talking in the hot tub and everyone was like, oh, you can't sleep, you can't sleep. But yeah, yeah, I can't. But when I'm focused, I can get so much stuff done. I can do things that I would never be able to do otherwise. I feel like a somebody. If this goes away, I'm, I'm... I'm the person who you all never would have met. So Poppy's priority one. I get that. I'm in it. I'm in it. But if there's a way that we can do both, do you want to do both? I I will. I I will. I will help you. I I will, I will help save Poppy, and I will help you keep. You're, yes. Okay. Yeah, I can, I'll do, I'll do it. And Frank puts his hand out for, like, the clasp. Um, it's a, it's a weak clasp, <laughs> but it is, but it is a clasp. It's a very, like, Rook is like, okay, I have to recalculate uh, how <laughs> my plan was going to go in my head. Yes, okay, yeah, sure, okay. Um, but it is one. Um, Okay. Yes. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Okay. Fucking walks to the bit and then opens <clears> the door. <throat> can come in now. And one, one pose. Walks in behind you guys. Fucking <laughs> guy. Area in the front room. You can dance. <laughs> you, you can dance. Can dance. <laughs> Uh, Rook and Frank, Frank back here living their best life. You see, uh, all of you see Rook, um, Frank walk in. Poppy, what was that history check? 21. You know who this is. Mm. Upon seeing this face, older than you recall, more mature, adult. I just come to offer information, and then I fuck off. They run to him. Um, yeah, they they run to him. Um, I'm not on the I'm not on the map. Eh. Wherever here? It'd be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh my god! What? Hello? What? It seems you know who I am. That's better than what I expected. Ivan. Yeah. <laughs> They're they visibly short circuit. Um like just everyone sees like a thousand questions and then just like a of information. Are you okay? Great. 
I have information. I give that to you, and if your friends allow it, we may catch up. Rook, look, like, catches Poppy's eye and just, like, not fucking know. I would, I would love some clarification and contact. Of course, yeah, happy to give it. Hi, everybody, I'm Ivan Kasparnak. Pleasure to meet you. Well, Ivan, just Some Ivan. Kind of Soviet and you're name, here like... because here because um, well, Rook Dad hired me to. And you may leave. No, you keep on. Your deal? You can go now. Actually, I'm be I honest, think that's not a great no, way to start off. You with this okay, Do you yeah. want truth or you want bullshit? It's okay. No, actually, it's... that's a good point. You want truth or you want bullshit? I, I don't like I the don't... man. That's not me vying for him. I took a job because I'm. Need of money. Fucking mood. <laughs> I have information about this group you look for. Something for you all to dig at. If you want it, I give it to you. If not, I fuck off. You know about the enlightened right? I talked to a journalist lady. Slatemore when I look into everybody. Oh, God. Team's pretty good. Kent. That one, yeah. Yeah, she's very sucks. British, very posh. Um, does not know when to keep her mouth shut. Gave oh. me everything. Is she okay? She's fine. Yeah. We went to Sunsense and had conversation. Yeah. You're telling me I... that you went into a Sunsense. Yep. You, some sort of like Russian operative, and then freelancer, a but newscaster. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Went into a stun sense and just had a conversation like normal people. It's pretty fucking amazing when you think about it. Yeah. Cool. 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 I'm gonna. I'm out of the room at this point. I walk out. <laughs> so he lays down a, a phone on the table, puts it forward, relinquishes possession of it. There's some files there. That um, this group. Just kind of compiled and put together. Figured it'd be of use to you. And caught word that they're moving up north. I imagine they're coming here. Looking for all of you. I'll be here soon. Figured the warning was necessary. Was just going to drop the phone. And try and say hi to you privately. But I didn't think you know who I was. That's the information. That's what I have. What was that? Rebecca picks up the phone. Okay. No passcode on it. You see it, uh, it opens immediately to a notes app with about 10 pages of chat logs, information, GPS locations, uh, and correspondence between these people. It's in cold. I don't understand. So figured right. you were all connected to it. I don't know. I don't uh, understand why, why, I don't, if you are hired to just follow us or gather information, why are you giving it to us? I'm Can thorough I? and I was hired to make sure that you stayed alive, Rook, nothing past that. What I do with my free will and volition is on me. I took information, found it on you because I'm thorough and I figured it'd be useful for people who can defend themselves far better than I can. So have the information. That's an insane sentence. Um, I think having seen the reaction to this person from Poppy, mm. uh, she will take the phone, register that Terry has already left, um, look at the other two, and sort of like reach over and like tug on Rook's sleeve as if like indicating that they should go into a different room. Rook. Like. To go and like grab uh, Becca's shoulder. Mm -hmm. Like grabs her hand a little and then up and pats and nods Chan does turn to Ivan 
works for you. If this information is good, you're welcome to keep being thorough, but you can take a holiday, prince the man of everything he has. Appreciate that. And leaves to go meet up with Terry. Okay. Frank, what are you up to? Frank is, is still, he, I think he's watching from like a half archway sure. somewhere, just kind of like pseudo blocking a door kind of thing, watching what's going on. Okay. Right. Just giving the space. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So good. Wanted to make sure you were okay. That's it. I have so many questions, and I can't pick where to start. <laughs> um, well, you know, uh, I left... No contact with your family. That's done. You were right. They're bad people. Took me too long to realize it. That's fine. I've contract Cordale Father. And I found information that nobody else could. So I brought it here. That's it. I don't wish to impose on your life. At all. <laughs> I I don't know what is on that phone. I will I will go try and understand it with them yeah. in a minute. But if you didn't, already told us something we didn't know. I didn't know they would be here within the week. And you're you're sitting in front of me. Are they? Are they alive? Oh, yeah. They'll find you, though. They'll find? They won't. The embassy holding your paperwork back home mysteriously burned down. Arvin! What? You cannot burn down building to solve your problem! I'm thorough. What do you want from me? I know that you want detachment from them, so I made sure it happened. That's it. Your safety, your new life here, your friends, that's what's important. They hurt you? Not directly. They did enough. It's unimportant. You look happy. You look good. That's important. Why does everybody keep saying that they're not important what they are? They just hug him. There's this almost... It's not a recoil. It is... It's almost a trauma response. There has been no physical affection... Oh. Yeah. ...in this man's life for... Since you knew him as a kid. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. Okay. Slowly kind of uh, reciprocates. It's good to see you. <laughs> you look good. <laughs> you look good. <laughs> so, um, I bring enough chaos. I, yeah, go. Wait, wait, no. <laughs> You, I have so many, I have so many questions. Can I, can I, con can I contact you? Can I, do you have, yeah. what is happening? There, um, uh, takes out a phone, put your number in there. I'm not leaving the area until stuff is done. So you deal with whatever you deal with. 
look into your parent, their parents. I keep eye out. Defend where I can. I can't promise much. What are you? Okay. They're... You are second friend to talk about how you're just going to do what helps by yourself alone as if that is safe or good. What? Or okay. No. It... Hey, I'm going to tell you this right now. I don't care. I haven't seen I know. you. Deal with it then. Came here to make sure you're safe. And to make sure that you and your friends live. Because selfishly, the money is nice. Hey, his dad pay pretty good, but I'm not what taking it. What did his dad pay you? Can, can I not just it. match not, it so that you I'm don't... I'm not taking it. Do you have $50,000? But I don't want you to do... No. Okay. No. I put it in a... I put it in an offshore account in his name. Not for me. I give it back to him. His father's a prick. Yeah. Yeah, I don't keep it. This is selfish job. What happened? You were working for them. You were theirs. They asked me to do something that killed my character, killed my soul, and I said no. And I left. It's that easy. You were right. The day that you told me that everything was evil, everything was bad, you're right. And I didn't listen. <laughs> and I didn't listen. So, that's that. But I see Murph Patterson. You know what? It sounds creepy. I, it sounds creepy. Yeah. You know, in retrospect, yeah. shut up. Quiet. <laughs> Enough from little mouth of yours. Don't tell me to yeah. shut up. I'm not. Do not stalk my papa. Shut up. Everybody do this. Shut up. They all seem very sweet. All of yeah. your families. They seem like they love you. That is important thing to protect. And that is what I'm here to do. I do so from distance and not impose on life. Eh? That easy. They... There is just this... They're processing a lot. Um... But there's this, as he says, that he's not here to impose. Sorry, I just said Chad fucking you guys. Oh. <laughs> as he says, he's not going to impose. Their face just softens. Do you know that I thought that maybe I made you up not completely i know you're what? a real person but i'm thought... quite tangible yeah i know they just kind of hit his arm ow fuck i know you're tangible i thought that i made up one good thing so that i would miss it <laughs> no uh you're the best thing that ever happened to my life i like that i always chased even when i thought that everything i was doing was correct I see bad things happen. Knowing that this life you chased is in danger, I don't stand by. That easy. So, whether I help openly or in white gimp suit outside in snow, I don't care. Call it the. Do not call it the gimp suit. Tell me it's not the gimp suit. <laughs> he looks at the. Oh, no. he, tell me it's not gimp suit. I am wearing literal latex. With fucking hi Shannon vest on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's 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 pretty much a game suit. It do it make ass look clothes. great. He like turn around and yeah. does like the Black Widow pose, right? Pretty good. Yeah, I mean it's good. I'm gonna okay. die. Okay. All right. Um. Ivan. Yep. Go we'll talk to your friends about it. I'll be around. You have. I have you have my number. Go. Go. No, before you go. Fuck off. What? Cuz <laughs> they they just unbutton their cardigan and show where they were shot. And they show the oh, way shit. that his tattoo mm. has shifted around the bullet wound. Oh jeez, you got shot in chest. That's pretty fucked. But look what happened. 
You're pretty you then new? You the it, Well I know I you, I trust me, I know my own work. It's pretty goddamn good. You didn't make it like this though, it changed. No. Well that's good. I'm I'm glad You've been helping. Ever since bad things happened to me, you've been helping. I... Maybe the image, but... I'm glad you think so. I aim to continue to help. That's it. Go, talk to your friends, I'll be around. Oh. Please, stay safe. Well, you know, my line of work. He's walking out the door. My line of work, pretty hard to stay stiff. Door shuts. Are you still doing? Okay. <laughs> they turn around and go to everyone else. Okay. You all converge in the room. Okay. Well, uh, Terry's fucking gone. <laughs> Terry left. Rook I think. would Rook. like to follow. Uh, try to find. Try to find. Not follow, but try to find Terry. If Great. It's I think you know what with is okay if I can do that. Yeah. With if it, well, we'll just say with everybody converging, that's where we're going to take our first break. We're an hour and a half in. Um, All right. Thank you, everybody, right. for hanging out. We're going to take a quick, quick little ten minute break. Um, thank you for being here. We're going to open up our skull splitter dice giveaway. Um, skull splitter dice. Yeah, oh. skull splitter dice. So uh, followers get one entry. It's exclamation point win. Followers get one entry and subscribers get two. Make sure to subscribe beforehand because it is not retroactive. Um, thank you guys for being here. This is, uh, you know, angsty. What did we expect? We'd love to see it. Um, all right. And then we're going to go to break. I'm going to open up the giveaway. I need help. No ah! kisses. No kisses. Kisses right. for everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. All right. Today has been. And okay. we are <laughs> out. Well
gamers, what we are up? back for more Yearbook Club. What's up, babies? Okay. Hello. So, uh, right before the break. Last we left off, my mic wasn't being picked up. I'm an idiot. Um, last we left off, there was a, a surprising reintroduction of uh, somebody from Poppy's past connected to Rook, but has brought information to everybody uh, regarding the Enlightened Rite and an apparent trek to find these five enlightened individuals. The table is yours. Uh, so, I, I am so sorry for jumping in uh, in front of everyone. Uh, I, before the break, I was wondering if, because Terry ran off, if Rook could have a look. That's right. Yeah. Terry, give me, give me Aaron, an investigation check. Are you, are you okay with that? Aaron? Like, I was going to say, uh, out. like, you probably would have heard the front door close because you're 28 passive. Uh, sure. I went outdoors at the very least. Um, cool. I, 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 you are, you are good with Rook trying to find. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent, all for the RP. Oh, for fuck's sake! That's the second four I've rolled. Seventeen. If you open the front door, I am sitting on the front steps. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um. Yeah. As you kind of step out, Terry is there, not wearing like a heavy sweater or anything like that. Um. And. You know how our front door kind of looks away across a river, and there's, like, trees on either side of it? Mm -hmm. um, he's just sitting there with his hand flicking, and every time he flicks, there's a little flash of light, and he boom, eldritch blasts into a tree across the river. And he's just flicking at it every time. He's been going probably since he left, which has been, it's been at least a few minutes, and he fires off ten a minute, so it's probably not looking the best. The tree is looking pretty fucked. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fuck, I have nothing aside from Guiding Bolt. That's my lowest level attack spell. I can't... <laughs> Brooke sits down and just... Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking wipes it out. Um, no, Rook just... <laughs> Rook sees it. Uh, you're getting good. It's a good shot. Um... Yeah, I, uh, I don't know, yeah, that's, I really think that I am getting good with these, and I'm totally okay with giving them up, too. Uh, Rook takes a seat on the stairs. I want to know how to help you. I, I don't know with what, <laughs> I don't know with what, but I need to know. Whatever happens with this, what do you want? I'm going to be honest. I love our powers. They're awesome. I would trade them away in a hot fucking second to get to take a normal ass vacation. This vacation got advertised to me as, hey, we're going to forget about fucking Cthulhu in the heavens across the galaxy. And we're going to go sit down and just exist for a little bit. And we can't even get... A fucking hour without some motherfucker walking in from the snow going oh look here I have a, a fucking cell phone <laughs> there's probably like five more sitting somewhere in a tree watching us you know what if we left that's not gonna fucking help Oh, the five That's... of us. What if we just up book and... I think I would have been open to that had you asked me before the party. But, like, I tried to do the one fucking thing I do to get away, which is I pop into my Zoom, my little room, right? And I can't even go there without fucking eyeballs showing up. You know? It's just... I'm tired of it, and... Yeah, am I a little annoyed that Poppy made a choice without the rest of us being there? Yeah. Would I have made the exact same fucking choice? Absolutely I would have. 
like, yeah, she probably should have thought, or sorry, they probably should have thought about us. I apologize for that, by the way. Uh, they probably should have thought about us, but it doesn't matter because ultimately it's happened and we're on our path and we're going, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to fix it by sitting here and feeling bad about ourselves, but we also don't really have a step to take. And like, it's, it's just really fucking frustrating that everywhere, everywhere I turn around, it's something new. And then there's my own shit going on, which that's just me being a fucking coward is really the only way I'm going to figure that out. Fuck. I. Okay. Rook stands up and then walks in front of Terry. If you want a normal life, you're going to have to stop being such a fucking pussy. <laughs> He's physically laughing when that happens. No, I'm... I'm ready for it. I just... Fucking... You're not a fucking coward. Shit happens. You make the next move and you get over it. I'm gonna fucking need you... <laughs> to believe in something. I don't even fucking care if you believe in me. Or yourself, sorry. But I need you to... Believe in my belief of you. You want me to believe in the you that believes in me? Yes. That was I mean, a that Rook set that off his own back, but Matt knows where that's from. <laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. My drill will pierce the heavens. I got you. <laughs> um, no, it's just I know what I gotta do to move forward. I know all of that. I know where we need to go in terms of what our next step is. Doesn't make it easier. Doesn't make it feel better. And it's just, it fucking sucks. And I don't want to do that. But we're going to do it. I'm going to have to hike my happy ass down to the other fucking house at some point and have a conversation I really don't want to have. And then, like, the rest of you have got weird shit going on. I'm going to be honest here. Like, we already had weird shit before the powers, and then after the powers, and then before the break, and after the break. But it feels like a whole new level every time I look around. Frank is, like, dosing off of his powers for some reason. And, like, Poppy has people, like, just showing up every once in a while. It's like, was the Russian mob involved? And it's just like... It... I love all of you more than pretty much anyone on this fucking planet and it just seems like me knowingly and all of us independently are on the most self-destructive paths possible <sighs> thank you for coming to my ted talk i would like hot cocoa now maybe with some baileys in it and then we're gonna have to talk about whatever what the fuck why was he even here he had a cell phone i don't know i left had a cell phone information my fucking dad hired him yeah, but you, your dad's a dickhead. We're all on the same page on that one. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just... I'm worried about everybody, and... I'm gonna have to deal with... I'm gonna have to deal with the sheriff at some point, you know. And that's on me. And... Do you, I don't... though? Yeah, I fucking do, because I, I'm a shit person, but I don't have shit morals. You know? Then you're not a shit person, for fuck's sake. No, 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 no. Having good morals is not the same as being a good person, because being a good person means you act on those fucking morals. You are acting. You're saying you're going to go talk to them. Talk is a lot. You're here I don't, I've with said us. that. I you haven't actually decided up... anything yet. You said you're going to give up something that you actively like to save Poppy. Well, yeah, to save their soul. That's fucking that's good. selfish, though. I fucking love Poppy. You know, I love all of you. You're all my... These aren't even a factor in that decision. That's you what know? being good is, right? I don't know, maybe. <sighs> Has anyone fucking talked to Frank yet about... Like that? <laughs> well, that's when our fucking... 
Oh, that's when the Ski Russian guy showed up. Wearing fucking serial killer turned up. By the way, is he still in the house? Did we did we oh, leave him in there with? Okay. Oh, they're fine. They can handle themselves. They're. <laughs> they were clearly, they put on a brave face, but when we met them, they were a little scared. I could hear it. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot going on. We're all talking to each other about a lot. And we're all in our own heads. And we keep saying we're going to talk to each other. And then we do. And then we go off for five minutes to go be in our own heads. And then we come back and we talk about it. And then we go off for five minutes to be in our own heads. And it's just like... I don't know. I think we are... Um... We're thriving on the idea that if we talk about our problems, then that's the same as acting on them. Yup. And, like, I don't know. You tried talking to Frank. Did you talk to Bex yet? I talked a little bit. I'll um, swing by. I, I, I have... I've talked a little bit to Bex, but <laughs> I... they they have they're doing things that I can't I don't I don't know I'm not fucking built for this everyone has so many emotions and I can't seem to help I can fucking heal anyone if they get skewered with a fucking tentacle, but they can't seem to <clears throat> make someone less self-destructive. No. No, we can't. Because we can't even do it for ourselves, you know? God, how are we the most powerful people in the whole world, and at the same time absolutely powerless? Because we're people. And people comes with a lot of baggage, that word. Hmm. You know? Oh. It's not that yeah. bad for me, but I'm assuming it's cold out here for you, so <clears throat> we should probably back indoors. Yeah. Okay. So, I know you guys can RP around everybody all day long. So we're going to play it this way, okay? You guys have this week. I assume all of you want to investigate these notes. Correct? Yes. This document. So everybody, give me a group. Uh, if you're choosing to investigate, investigation check. Uh, Becca, I believe you get advantage because this is spooky shit. Yep. Please go ahead and roll with advantage. Um, um in, instead of instead of actively investigating myself, can I be like the the male wife of the group and just be like getting sandwiches and things cuz I'm not sure. good at the investigation bit. Okay, so you're off you're offering aid in that way. Um Correct. who would you like to give your advantage roll to? Uh let's see, sounds like Beck is already going, so I was going to give it to Poppy Great. if possible. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. 21. 21. Aren't by any chance doing this investigation check that relies on sight while searching an area or studying an object within that range, are we? I'm sorry. It's more occult. I need you to speak that one more time slowly. I have eyes of minute seeing that give me advantage on investigation Ooh. checks, but only very specific things. Yeah, fuck so it. We'll say we this works. reading yep. occult books? You're reading occult text messages? Yeah, fuck it. Who cares? <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. The rules don't Let's matter. Sixteen? Thirteen. Thirteen. Bad. Okay. So, 28. 28, 21. Becca, correct? 21. And then, Frank, did you roll? Yeah, I got an eight. Eight. You know what? We're working for it. So, between the three of you, um, Becca, you conducting your own pieces of research within this group and the... Um, Unravel cast during your time in California. Um, Rook, hyper aware, analyzing this, and Poppy, you're 
foreknowledge. Easy enough for all of you to begin to decipher over the course of the next couple days what this language is. This cipher system set up in order to throw people off the trail, make it look like nonsense. The things that ciphers are built for. All of you guys working together are able to decipher that these people... At first, there was verbiage regarding the two of them. That was an unfortunate happening of the cipher. They, he, she, these pronouns, these descriptors, are code for outsider. It seems that this is all indicative of one source of conversation. Go for it. So when they read, he is upset, she is even more upset, mm -hmm. they just... It's code. Okay. Yeah. And so you're grasping that these enlightened right, these cultists, as they are, are doing everything they can to appease this outsider and to bring all five of you to them or to bring them to you. And it seems that they settle on the, uh, the ladder. Is there plans to travel up towards Summers by the end of the week? Is there a specific date listed? Um, we'll say it's, you guys are currently on a Tuesday. They're going to be up there by Saturday, the latest. Okay. Do we know how many? That is not stated. Rook, Rebecca, any sort of clarifying questions from you guys? I'll be sl uh, you know what? I'll do it after. I have a thing I'd like to do. But, okay. Uh, not, 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 not to do with this. No. Got it. Okay. All um, the. I'm sorry. No, go for it. Do they list? We know that this outsider, based on what the other outsiders told us, um, this outsider covers every school of magic. Mm -hmm. Is there some sort of mention of like ways that they mean to deal with us? Not direct mention. Um, they're they're R Rook and Becca. As you guys are reading, you manage to clock um, the verbiage of stifle or stunt your abilities. You imagine that they believe at least that they have some way to shut you off from your abilities, or at least they believe so. But even in their verbiage, even in th their correspondence with each other, it feels like a crapshoot. But the verbiage wholly leads that they're coming to fight. So. We have to get your, we have to get everybody's families out of here. Um. Yes. I, uh. I have to think. Sorry. Uh, and on this little study session that they're having, Rook leaves to his room. Okay, you do so. Uh, you're welcome to. Yeah, Becca, was there? It looked like you were I... about to say something. Okay. Um. Then Poppy is going to take out their phone. Hmm. Becca, I'm going to share this information with Max. Unless okay. you see a reason why I shouldn't. No, I mean... Sure. Okay. They she leaves. Do so. I think okay. she leaves. I think in the middle of all of this, she walks to her own room. Okay. Okay, um... Alone with this information, then, Poppy will go about informing Max. Um, 
I'm just saying that this is not something they can be around for. They will be used as leverage, just like my papa was in the Mirage Plaza. Easy enough. There's a, a correspondence that says we have plans for this. Which are? To evacuate them if needed. Perfect. I think that needs to happen. Well, you need to all meet with your parents then. We'll tell them, but you need to... They're not going to let us just wheel them away from you. That's not going to happen. I will let Caden know and we'll talk about it and let you know by the end of the night. Bye, Saturday at the late... Fine. Um, I think they just sit alone in this room. Yep. And I Frank. think... Oh, I'm sorry. No, you go ahead. They just kind of hold back tears and um, they send Ivan just a picture of a blanket fort and then just sit. There's a easy enough to see that there's there's a couple dots indicating replies, but nothing is sent. Just a heart reaction. Um, okay, so we have the course of a week. Everybody, I imagine, has individual goals. We're going to start with Frank. We're going to move to Terry. We're going to do Becca, Rook, Poppy. That way, just give people time to think about what they'd want to do. Because I just want to give everybody their space. I know that we're working with a lot of information and a lot of things happening. So uh, we're going to start with, um, I said Frank. Am I dumb? Yeah. So Frank, Frank, we're smart. Go for it. Yeah. So. Sure. Very smart. Yeah. Uh, Frank will find a moment to knock on Becca's door. Yeah. Uh, your, um, your, your present was late, but, uh, but it just, just showed up. Uh, I think she'll open the, um, the door. And Frank just hands her a, a scrawled out post-it note. Mm-hmm. That says, one free training dummy session with Frank. <laughs> okay. I just, I, I just figured, like, you know, if you wanted a chance to, like, hone, hone your powers and stuff, you know, I can, I can take it out of all of us, you know, so if you just want to, like, practice dummy or whatever. Is this a coupon to hit you? I mean, if that's what if that's what you want to like practice or whatever. That's really sweet. You know, I don't think I've ever gotten like a like a written present before. Like, I feel like everybody talks about getting those little like coupon book things like with with stuff in it i never really yeah. got one of those yeah that was that was kind of the idea yeah. that's nice um if you wanted to put an expiry date on it you can but i, I didn't but so. thanks well if all of this you know goes off with whatever i might need to train normally anyway so Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, happy holidays. <laughs> happy holidays. I think she'll walk back to the like the dresser uh and put the like piece of paper in the scrapbook that Poppy gave them. He'll just he'll just turn around and awkwardly Alrighty. let you be. <laughs> Great, perfect. <laughs> um all right, Terry. You're muted, Bub. So we know that these group, this group of people is coming here, right? Mm -hmm. Cursory uh, ask to the party would probably approach you guys individually to ask, but like for time, because we have so much RP that we want to do. 
Um, how much am I allowed to break the general area, not necessarily the house? Are you asking me? Um, I'm asking the party. Mm. How much they want to pay? <laughs> got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, how much, how much am I allowed to break the surrounding uh, area to the house? Um... An incredible question, truly. Rook is fine with it, they say, as you see them casting Glyph of Warding at just random points around. So There's you're... like small chess pieces that are like, like just left in snow and stuff as minor traps. And they're like, yes. So then Rook good. and Terry are on the exact same page of we need to fortify, we need to stop whatever's mm. about to happen. Okay, this would require a little bit of Frank's help. Uh, I could I could do this by breaking all of the things, but I would want Frank's help to help with it. Um, what are you needing to break? So, um, you know that I like to do this, and uh, he snaps his fingers and there's a small flame that appears. I figure one of the oldest tricks in the book, line of fire, these are pine trees, so like, they go up quick. I figure we'd take maybe 20 feet 30 feet from the house, lay out a line of them and block off the main road at the very least, and if somebody comes at us, they come at us, and I light it up. Funnel them. What was that? Like, funnel them. Make yeah, we could so funnel them, we could do... Approach. We could, yeah, I was thinking, like, do, essentially, we're, we're surrounded by that riverbank on the back, right? So mm -hmm. I was thinking maybe two lines coming off of the river, stop near the front road, and then yeah, so essentially they would have to come at us. I they would can... only burn for maybe six to twelve hours, so we'd have to do it knowing they're coming. But I can I can line the entrance with some the uh, protection things a trap, so when they come in, we'll have some extra more time. That is smart. Yes. I have this thing, and they will gesture, um, there's, like, this invisible weight on their shoulders, um, and they have this, um, faithful feline. Uh, it can see into the outsider's plane, and so it is just going to be looking out, but maybe if I do perimeter, then I can scout to see if the outsiders are following us on the other side, or if something else is there. That's, that's valid. Uh, but as long as everyone's okay with that, I just wanted to make sure, because Becca especially, I wanted to ask you, because, you know, your dad helped pay for us renting the place and everything. It's not going to hurt the house, it's just going to break a lot of the woods surrounding the area. I th Does she know if she owns these properties, or if they're renting them? It's rental. They're not, they're not owned. Yeah. Yeah. We don't own them? Yeah. I mean, okay. we probably could if yeah. it becomes an issue. Just, I was just wondering. I didn't want to, if you guys are totally against it, I didn't want to do it. It's just, I mean, you guys have a lot of really good ways about thinking about things and doing things constructively, and I blow things up. So I'm trying to find a way I can help. I don't care what gets broken as long as we are all okay. I don't think my dad will care. All right. Um, Frank, if you're okay, I can get, I can break them all down, and then if you can just, like, drag them into place, that'd be awesome. Whatever you need. I can do the time-consuming part, I just need somebody bigger than me to move them. Sure. Yeah, so just give me a group, um, give me a group athletics check, or if you're assisting Frank in any way, uh, Frank, oh. you can roll with an advantage. I'll assist okay. by casting haste on Great. Frank, so that <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> I, um, I will roll an athletics check. I fucking, I fucking love this idea would it be okay at all alec if i give aaron my inspiration i have an inspiration yeah, sure. left over from this session go for it i love you because i rolled a natural nine i love you so much <laughs> <laughs> okay uh that's much better that's a 17 plus athletics is gonna be plus three so that's a saucy 20 perfect nice. all right you guys easily oh, able nice. to kind of take the time move it get it going yeah and i make sure any pine pitch or anything like that is exposed so that okay. I can light it up. Um, the only other thing that I want to do is I want to swap out the spell in my ring. I'm going to replace my invisibility because as somebody told me, I need to I need to just do the next thing and not worry about it. Um, I'm going to get rid of the invisibility spell I was saving for Caden, and I'm going to throw a fire shield in there. 
Nice. Okay. Nice. Um, and that's going to be everything I want to do in the week because there are emotional conversations that I think Terry feels like should happen after we stop the oncoming whatever this outsider is. Okay. Great. Yeah. We will move on to Hell Becca. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be really honest. I think she spends the week not knowing what to do with herself mm -hmm. uh, because none of her abilities will help them prepare and all of her abilities will hurt her. Yeah. And that will only make everybody else worry more. So I think she spends a lot of time between like putting on a very happy front sure. um, to everyone and then also disappearing into her room mm. and not talking to anyone. Sure. It is a very, she's on when she's outside of her room and then she disappears yeah. and she's just accepted that like she disappears when everyone else starts doing mm -hmm. things. Okay. Um, and you do notice that over the course of these days, those white streaks multiply and your left eye is no longer green. It is this deep pink. I think once the eye thing happens, <laughs> she stays in her room indefinitely. Got it. I think she just stops coming out to anything. Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, would you mind if I imagine Rook would notice Becca's absence and want to know if she's okay? I, I can like to have Rook yeah. just knock at the door and it's ignored. Um, but if you want a little bit, yeah, I have Rook knock. I, if people want to react to that, sure. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Um, are you just knocking? I'm just knocking. Um, I think it takes a second, and then, uh, who is it? It's me. I, I haven't seen you in a bit. Are you okay? Uh. Um, I think she opens the door with, like, <laughs> part of her bangs, like, just fully covering one of her eyes. Mm. You okay? What qualifies as okay? Are any of us okay? Can I come in? Sure. Uh, she'll let him in. Uh, Rook closes the door behind them. I need to know how to help. What do you need? I will do it. I will... I, I will do it. Yeah, I... Well, it... I know. I... I don't... I don't mean to sound... I get it. I know that everybody wants to help, but... I don't know what's happening, and I can't even help do anything, because if I do something, then everyone will worry about me, and it's not like the things that I can do are helpful anyway. Unless Terry gets hung over, I guess. You're... Uh, we're... Yes, we can do things now, but when when they come, that's when that's that's when you'll fuck. You're you are helpful now because you are you. I know. Fuck, that doesn't make any sense. Um, I just don't want to be in the way, and I don't want to make anybody feel like they have to do anything I 
I want to help you. This has been going on for a very long time. And I've I know it's and it's fine when I'm wiping the blood off of your nose before you go out, but this is worse. Please, Becca, please. Doesn't Rook have heterochromia? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think she moves her hair and it's just the saddest little expression on her face and she's like, we match. And you've never looked more beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I think, I'll, I don't know, maybe my powers will go away and I can keep it. I just don't want everybody to freak out. I feel fine. As I usually do. I just feel like everybody's worried and everybody's... Uh, breaking down and... and uh, there's like a million things that none of us want to talk about or do want to talk about, but we don't know how to talk about them. And like, I'm good at... You know, normal people problems. Like, I, I can get you through your first party, or... I can make people stop picking on you. But that... You know that's why people love you. You, you are, you are what we need. And I know you know that, I know that's silly. Because you come out and you make everyone smile and feel good. But then you come in here and hide. And we are all scared. But I can heal you a little bit when you get hurt and if you're scared I want to be scared with you please Becca I think this whole time she's kind of had this like very fake fragile smile the like the usual thing that everybody expects of her. Um, and I think when he says that, I think she stops smiling. And I think, she, I think she starts to like openly sob and just like hugs him and just keeps repeating, I'm scared. I am... Becca, I am scared too. But I am less scared when... I'm with you. That is what I know. And I'm... I'm... <laughs> I know you're scared. I... I don't... I'm sorry, I'm not good at these... Fuck. I'm... You are good at this. <laughs> I wish I was better. I... We are going to get through this. I am going to do everything to help you the way that you have helped me. You have not stopped caring ever. And that's nice. And everyone loves you very much for it. But I, I'm going to need you to want to be cared for. You first. You have, you have done that for too long, I think. I 
I need you to know that people, us all here, none of us... You fucking made the yearbook club. <laughs> you brought us together and for better or for worse, you have made this a family. And this family loves you so much and I need... I this family needs you to not be strong for a bit. Okay. Your power hurts you because it is the universe's weird little way to try and break the woman who is unbreakable. <laughs> and I care so much about you, and I need you to... Fuck, I... <laughs> I care, I care about you, Becker, a lot. I really, I want you... I... I will never... I... I'm going to... I'm going to get you dinner now. You're <laughs> eating. You have food on. Okay. Um, I could just come, I guess, with you. I have... Uh, I have something I, I need to do first. I, um, I have some, something I need to do. But it's a small thing, and I'll be there for dinner. We can play something eat and have dinner and it'll be nice okay okay i'm sorry i you're i'm sorry you're, you're fine thanks i think she lets go of him because that whole time she was just not letting go mm -hmm. uh she lets go and lets him exit Rook, okay. like immediately fucking shrimps <laughs> goes from like hugging to shrimps yeah. and then is very like um, yeah they're not they're not charismatic <laughs> they don't know how to do yeah. that and it's very like uh... okay well and then we'll f we will uh what is your one thing you'd like to accomplish for the week rook rook leaves the room yep and goes upstairs um Doesn't pick up the chess set that Becca got them, but instead takes a their very well used set. Uh, sets it out, sets up a game. And their opening move, they move the rook. Uh, not the rook, sorry. They move the they move a pawn. Okay. Which um, arguably isn't the smartest move. And as they're playing this game, they seem to keep taking pieces with the intention of moving this one pawn forward. And as they're doing it, they mumble. I... <clears throat> I'm fucking breaking apart. I can't do this. I... I can't help. I am not strong enough to do this. I want to be able to heal and protect, but everyone is so broken and I don't have the tools I need. I am just human. And I need to know how to become more than that. And Rook is going to cast Divination to try and contact any form of entity as they move the a pawn to the end of the board and switch can, it out per, with yeah can you read me the verbiage of divination please your magic and an offering you put which is yep. which rook is intending to be himself got it uh put you in contact with a god or god's servant you ask a single question concerning a specific goal event or activity uh, to occur within seven days. The mm. GM offers a truthful reply. The reply might be a short phrase, cryptic rhyme, or an omen. 
uh, the spell doesn't take into account any possible circumstances that might change the outcome, mm -hmm. such as casting of additional spells. Blah, 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 blah. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. okay. Rook is doing this. Rook wants to become more than human. Sure. To be able to help everyone. Got it. As you begin to cast, what does this manifestation of magic look like? I imagine as the game continues to be played and Rook continues to ask this question of I need to become more and how do I do this fully giving their mortal shell or whatever form that takes offering it at the possibility of being answered there is a shade that flickers slightly on the other end of the board. Um, even though Rook is playing the pieces as Rook starts playing, I imagine this shade starts putting their hands where Rook is putting his as Rook is moving the other pieces of the board. Um, this, normally Rook's magic is through Spell focus is very much a chessboard, um, and it has a lot of physical pieces, and the board normally shows everyone uh, as they're fighting. And there's a lot of, like, bright. It's quite bright and light magic. Mm. This is very much not, since Rook is intending to contact anything that would listen right now. Got it. Okay. The space around you, the light, the heat, the generally warm and inviting environment of this cabin that you're staying at begins to fade. Light becoming obscured by shadow-like tendrils. Darkness, a chill beginning to creep up of creep up every aspect of your physicality. Opposite end of the table you see three forms. Crone like, hooded, featureless, hovered over the chess table. And almost avian like in nature, just cocking their heads to understand what's happening in front of them, to take in what is being presented. kind of look around the space that you both occupy. Your question is what? I want to get Poppy's soul back. I would like Frank to not lose their powers. I want Terry to care about themselves again. I want Becca to be safe, not hurt themselves anymore. In verbiage that you understand, the game must be played. Pieces on the board in motion, in tandem with one another. Roles set, things to find. There's one way out of this. Together. Separation of the whole, and you see as its long, inhuman fingers begin to hover over the chessboard. Takes the rook, isolates it from the other pieces. What do you do in this instance? Everything around you faded. 
gone. You're nothing. But, and almost no eyes, no features to look into you, you can feel their essence peering into every fiber of what you are. Every piece of it. The good, the bad, the insecure, the angry, the terrified. Every piece of it. Assigning the pieces that you assigned for your friends. Putting them together. Would you stand a better chance in this instance against one of these places a king in front of you? Play the game together. Live your lives normal. Be done with the outside. What next? I do not fret about the great beasts that lurk beyond. I can stop them. We all can. I'm scared of what if the pieces don't have anything else to fight. When the game ends, what happens to the pieces? They find new purpose. The, and you can see that, that these forms, each of them speaking in tandem, this sort of echo of each other, struggling to find the words to describe the, to ascribe words to your feelings. You can tell that this is alien. The emotions you're having, the struggles that are happening inside of you. It's all, it's a semblance of uncaring and unfamiliarity. These are beings that are just complete, completely antithetical to humanity. Now, what would you have done? If this never happened, if a rogue monstrosity didn't lay its talons into your world, what would you have done then? Lived? That is the step you take forward. These are not meant for you. They gesture over the chessboard. These. Abilities. You will decay. Whether to insanity. To pain. Isolation. You will decay. Play the game. And the shadows begin to fade. You're given your answer. <sighs> Brooke stands and walks downstairs, the board still out. And goes to get dinner. Okay. Rounding out this group, Poppy, what is the thing you wanted to do over the course of the week? Um, they are going to... Knowing that... Um, Knowing that Terry 
doesn't have healing anymore, she told us um, at the end of the previous session. Um, I think there's initially a thought to go to Rook, and I imagine as they see just this very obvious struggle, they instead they go to their D&D books um, and kind of take them upstairs sit on the ground and start to try to scribble into their spell book um, essentially they're going to try to map out healing spells um, and I think as they do they just start repeating what Rook said to them at that party there's nothing we can't beat together. There's nothing we can't beat together. And you do this process alone? They start alone. Okay. And then kind of tracing the edge of one of their tattoos. They think hard about each of their friends, about who they would want to heal and why. Becca, this light, as a daisy appears in their tattoos where none was. This hardy yellow rose as they think Frank and his strength, sturdy flower this right flame like Dahlia as they think of Terry and his spark this delicate but endlessly reaching out blue bell for Rook and then a poppy appears beside them all its vine kind of wrapping around the other four stems There also appear at either edge a sunflower. This just earthy, gentle fern, they kind of smile and they go knock on Rook's door. Rook answers it pretty sharpish if someone knocks on their door. Hey. Hey. I'm sorry to bug you when I know there's a lot happening. No, never bother me. How can I help? There's something I think I can't do without you. Harry cannot heal anymore. And I would very much like to help in any way that I can. <laughs> I have been... Struggling with this myself. Who do you want to help? I don't know yet, but all of you, whoever ends up needing it. And I think... I think if you could guide me, I think that I can... I think that I can do this, Rook. At least a little bit. And if it's all right with you, if he, does he, does he seem okay with this? Yeah, yeah. Rook, Rook smiles at the uh, insinuation. Yeah, I can try, definitely. Will you, Krail, Pick um, either healing word or cure wounds for me. What do you think he would teach Poppy? Uh, 
I think Rook would teach Healing Word. Um, I, uh, I, I'm not. I like to, um, I like to rush in a lot. And yeah, be I'm in not the this. face, <laughs> be in the face of people when um, when someone is hurt. But I am learning that I can't, I can't, I can't help everyone. Sometimes you just need to give them a word, and they can help themselves. Work. I think the first time they try this, um, it's not even physical healing. I think they just tap Rook's temple, seeing this tumult on Rook's face, and say, There's nothing together we can't beat. And little flowers just kind of appear for a moment, this crown of bluebells before dissipating. There is nothing to get that we cannot beat. Let's uh let's let's go downstairs. Um I think the rest are waiting for food, or haven't started cooking yet. And I've tried your cooking, it is very good, so. Thank you, I'm going to make pancakes tonight. And I think just, oh, <laughs> just diving into the lightness and brevity, they charge down the stairs and start making pancakes. Um, and like, pulling from the Frank and Frittata's motif, they'll put like chocolate chips in them and bananas. They're sorry. good with pancakes, sorry. don't shake I, your no, head no, at me. No, sorry, I thought we were talking about fucking egg dishes and I almost had a aneurysm. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Excuse me, eggs are amazing. Not with fucking Reese's Without peanut butter cups in them. Sure. Thank you, Parker. Thank you, baby. Yeah, no, I've <laughs> Okay. So, it's a differentiator. Yeah. It's our differentiator. Uh, as everybody can, and for As everybody finishes their activities for the week. You all get your normal check-in text from Max with an additive. Kaden and I managed to convince your parents to leave. We've taken some time apart for all of you to say goodbye. For whatever happens, happens. Who wants to go first? Uh... I think if it was the end of the week that Rook checked on her... It would have been, yes. Uh, that she will have come out of her room for the first time in a hot second. Okay. Uh, her The entirety of the bottom of her curls are just, like, stark white. Mm -hmm. um, she has a pink eye, like, just, like, glowing pink. Uh, and she... She looks at everybody else. I'm gonna go first. <laughs> oh, yes. That's bye. Bye. And she was hey, like, Rogue, that's a good look. Rogue, like, Rogue. You look, you look really good. But what she happened? Is okay, gone. okay, okay, she okay, okay. Was can like, we talk? Bye. About, can we talk about Becca being fucking peppy ass Rogue? That's my favorite that's, shit. That's, that's exactly yeah. That's yeah. what you said. Streaks of white hair. I was what's like, up oh, my, Rogue what's now. up, my share? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, um, you, uh, Max is outside waiting for you. Uh, he doesn't say anything unless you engage in conversation, um, but begins to just uh, go this way. Does he react at all? He, you can see he's visibly taken aback by it. He doesn't say anything. He's not. He's. I think as they walk. Mm. So, how easy was it to get them to leave? He turns yeah. around to show a cut on his face. And, you know, things got a little haywire. Who hit you? I tripped. I, nobody hit me. I tripped. But... Over somebody's foot or? Terry's dad did quite literally pick me up. 
Um, oh. Yeah. It's fine. I'm fine. No, I'm good. Um, but, w- yeah. Okay. Um, are you okay? I like the, I like the change. Good look. Thanks. You look very rogue from the X-Men. She's always been my favorite. Yeah. I guess her powers kind of hurt her too, huh? They hurt you? Never mind. Don't think no, no, about no, no, it. No, 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 no. Hey. No, it's good. Just it's fine. Give me a second. Can I, can I try something? Sure. Um, now this is only going to work if you really believe. <laughs> he, it, it's quite apparent that he's trying to put on a bit of a show. He's trying to make her smile. Uh huh. Okay, you have you, you got to believe it with all your heart. Okay. Equi- Peter this Pan. is this is no, this is like Full Metal Alchemist. This is equivalent exchange, uh, right? I'm giving you everything I have. I need everything from you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, close, close your eyes for a second. Just a hot second. Okay. Why not? If you do something untold, I will punch you. He casts calm emotions on the face. <laughs> oh. Okay. And he just says. No matter how disgusting I had been, you are always one of the strongest people I've ever seen. And I think that's why I was always so drawn to you. And I think that that is cemented now more than ever. Everybody looks up to you, me included. Can I, can I tell you something? If you want to. Sure. No, you know what? Nobody will believe you if you say it. I believe it. I believe it. Most of it's an act. I know. (laughs) Yeah. He looks at you with deep amounts of pity. You want to know me before? (laughs) It was an act. I know what that's like, and I am so sorry. Pretending to be anything other than yourself is horrific. Don't ever put on a smile for anybody but yourself. Oh, my dad's gonna hit you if I walk in there crying. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. I accept it. But. Okay. You're strong. Okay. Yeah. Good luck. Okay. Um, you walk in and you can see that the space in this entry room to their cabin are just your parents. It's just your parents. Isaac kind of sits resigned as your mother jumps up, runs toward you. And just scoops you into the tightest embrace you can imagine. Hi. I'm sorry it got messed up. No, no. No, that's our fault. That's our fault, honey. It's not anybody's anybody's fault. It's not anybody's fault. I just... You're going to do something brave. Okay. Yeah. I know that. I know. Mm -hmm. Kick its fucking ass. I will. I'll be okay. (laughs) I, uh, I have really good friends. And they have you. Yeah, I can take a hit better than Rook, for sure. Oh, God, I don't need to hear that. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) she's like, I just, I love you. And when you get home, Mm -hmm. we're going to, we're going to fucking go to the beach or something. Fuck the snow. Fuck Montana. (laughs) We're done. We're done. It's over. It's done. done with Montana. Okay. 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 I love you. Sorry, I can't do more. I love you too. 
just gives you a, a, a big squeeze and a kiss. Um, she kind of goes to grab her bags and Isaac very much <laughs> doing everything he can to hold himself together. Okay. No. But I think that's okay. It's fair. I'll be okay. And you fucking better be. <laughs> I don't I don't know if it's just mom or <laughs> but uh <laughs> Um, I, Rook will take care of me. I know they will. So, everybody will, but he actually does the, the healing. I know. And the worrying. A lot. We're going to be leaving, and. I know. You have her it's phone safer. number. Yeah. It doesn't feel it. If you were here, we'd just be more worried about making sure you were okay. I know. So I know. Thank you for doing yeah. it. You should have seen Jeremy. He picked up that ginger kid and just tossed I... him across the room. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Oh, Max. He's okay, I think. He seems yeah, pretty he... sturdy. Yeah, he's half metal, Dad. <laughs> well, I guess when you put it that way, that's fair. Uh, um, right. Well, he just stops talking and just wraps her up. <sighs> take, take this. He hands what? you. What is this? He hands you his wedding ring. Just hold this. What? Just think what? about coming home and you'll do it, okay? Please. <laughs> I was gonna come home anyway. I love you. I'll be fine. I, I love you too. They both just come up and... and wrap around you as you see Caden takes them to a car and um, Max is waiting outside for you I think <laughs> she just like wipes the tears from her eyes and looks at him and goes he threw you mm -hmm. yeah he did uh... that's good it's fine I'm fine I'm good uh, you okay? Well, no. I'd be worried for you if you were. <sighs> yeah. Ian's gonna take them home and. Good. I'll be. Thanks. I guess somebody else should go. And she'll go back. Okay. Who's up? Terry? All right. I'll go for it. It seems like everybody else is a little bit more worried about meeting their parental unit, so I'll go. I'll, I'll let them delay for a little <laughs> okay. bit. Okay. Max sees you come out and say, What happened to the face? Your father. Oh. It makes sense. I told him I had to, t we had to did take. Did he throw you? Oh, fuck yeah. Ah, uh, he did that to a guy at the shop once. He did? Yeah, didn't file a report though. They actually left like shaking hands and grabbing beers. It's weird. I didn't get that. That's fine. That's uh, fine. Hey, do you want to? Do you want to get beers after? If I imagine, if uh, maybe, yeah, sure. I mean, I just I feel like we've been kind of shitting on you, but you're like <sighs> kind of a badass, you know. I... And you've like shit happened to you that night too, and I feel like not a lot of people talk about it. I'm also not here to talk to you about it like emotionally. 
So I'm here for you, but I'm not like here for I'm you. I'm gauging you know I mean? that you're not having like the, the space to talk about it. That's fine. Yeah. I'm never going to push that on you, but I appreciate the acknowledgement. It does yeah, mean a I lot. Just, you know I have shit going on. I just, I, I feel like we should acknowledge that you are also a super powered badass at this point. Uh, have you ever played Mortal Kombat? Uh, yeah, I'm like Jax. Yeah, you're one letter off. Oh, shit. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, so I just, you know. That's pretty fucking lit. Okay. Yeah, let's go talk to your dad. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make him apologize for throwing you, though. That's a little funny. No, 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 no. No, no, no. He, no, no, it no, makes no, sense. no, 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 no. He's more responsible than that. He's He should know better. Okay. Uh, you guys walk um, down the space. Um, Max also going to, before you guys break the precipice. Okay, no be. Yep. He Suddenly like, like less ready. physically physically doubles over at that point and just like hands on the knees for a second. I do anything to help. You wanna just swap places real quick and just you pop in there, be like, yo, what's up, dad, and then leave and then I don't have to You already nope, threw cool. me once and I'm already walking towards the door. Okay, you're braver than you think. Okay, bye. All right, you uh, walk I in. Open the door. Yeah, you walk into the space. Easy enough to see. Caden is in the background, giving you your space, um, letting you engage with your father. Um, Jeremy stands up. Hey, Dad. So, kid. So you threw him. You're goddamn right. I fucking threw him. Again, we talked about this. Ah, whatever. I, Told me I had to go away from you, and I was about I mean, had a fucking stroke. I, that's what I'm here to tell you, though. You gotta go. You gotta. You're my... I know. I, you're my dad. And he's gonna, like, I'm gonna pull him into a hug, mm. and we're gonna continue this conversation without releasing that hug. Just so just assume yeah, yeah, you are yeah. on my shoulder. Okay. Mm. I know that this is really hard because it's fucking hard going through it, but it's got to be just as hard watching somebody do it. You know? Yeah. And I want you to know that not once in all of this have I been scared for me. And that's not because of, like, some self-throwaway bullshit. But it's because you raised me to know that at the end of the day, even if you come home, it doesn't matter if your family ain't there. They're my family, Dad. I know they are, bud. I know. You know? I, I, uh, boy, no, I'll go for it. I'm just, I don't know. That felt good to say. All right. I know you've been struggling and you've been having a time and there's not a goddamn thing I can say or do about it. No, and no matter what. You're my kid. You're my heart. You're my soul. You are everything that makes me wake up in the morning. Okay? I know. I know. But you do know, right, that in the non-existent eventuality, if I don't, ah, you're, you're not allowed for to not get out of bed. Enough of that. That, ain't, that shit ain't gonna happen. All right. You understand That's me? Up to you. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Good boy. I love you so much. I love you too. Hey, Dad. Yeah? I was wondering if you could give me the room for a second. Kind of looks back at Caden. See you when you get home. I'll see you when I get home. Pulls you in, kisses you on the forehead, gives you one last giant squeeze. Please. And by the way... As, as he's oh, giving yeah, the last squeeze, you better fucking apologize to Max. He was doing his job. 
Yeah, all right. All right. Walks out. You hear in your periphery that they're, <laughs> he's like, all right, you know what? I'm sorry. I just, you know, I get wound <laughs> up when it's my kid. And I, he's like, no, 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 no. I get it. I get it. You, you hear that engagement. Um, um, and Caden's kind of leaned against the wall. So looking at you. So I had a plan walking in here. Hmm. And now I don't. I feel like I'm sorry is a shit start, but I'm going to start with that one. It's a good start in my opinion. It's an acknowledgement that there's been done, wrong and done. Which there was. And I appreciate that. I... I don't know. That's actually the full fucking statement. Um, I don't. I did something that really was real fucking shitty. And I should have communicated more. But I didn't even have a cursory conversation before I shut you out and I just want you to know that the whole I this is gonna sound super fucking shit but it's not you it is me like actually yeah um I'm hurting in a lot of different ways for a lot of different reasons but that was no excuse to make you hurt And I think that's as far as I've got in my brain. Terry, I know you're going through a lot of stuff. I can't imagine half the shit you and your friends are going through. I can't. I've seen pieces of it. I got no idea what it is. I can't blame you for how you react to the impossible. All you need to know is that I don't hate you. I'm hurt, yeah, but I'll heal. All you gotta do is the same. Get me? I get you. I get you. Do that. <sighs> Thank you for protecting the parents. It's my job. It's more than I would have done. It's the only thing I know how to do. Make sure they get home safe, okay? Yep. Um, fair warning, he's probably going to make you pull over once you get about a mile down the mountain. Uh, you need to just make sure he's, he's like, sedated or something. Uh, like a night quill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to go. I'm not going to offer any more apology. Yeah, I'm not they, gonna don't, they don't push it. They just sort of acknowledge you, yeah. acknowledge your statement, and they head out. Yeah. All right. Who's a... I think if it's all right uh, with you, Morgan, um, I imagine Poppy is just sitting near him, kind of their arms crossed while these two wait. They just kind of look up at him and say, are you avoiding this because you're afraid of it being the last goodbye, too? Uh... No. No, I'm avoiding it so that I can spend more time. If you don't want to go last, you don't have to go last. But... Still working up my courage, I think. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors? 
with the belt, they pull out a d20. Your first time rolling ever, <laughs> Rollsies. Sure. What? What? What is this? What? Rollies. There's there. There is a one through a twenty on this die, and I uh, think whoever rolls the lowest has to go first. Oh, okay. So one is the best. Oh, you want to go first? Then you should just go first. Okay. No, I'm just. <laughs> I'm trying to understand. This. You... Like, it goes up to twenty, so like twenty. Twenty. Is like... Twenty, the best. Twenty natural twenty is a perfect succeed. And a a one is a critical failure. Um, oh. So if I rolled a one, then that would be a critical failure in my wants, and I would go first. Oh, okay. And then, so Frank rolls it, he gets a nine. I got a nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay, again. All right. Eleven. Eleven. I got a twelve. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Okay. Go first. That's fine. You got your you got your buddy Max. I'm You'll take care of you, right? I do not need to be taken care of. I just I don't want to look at my papa and wonder if it's the last time I'm looking at him. But then, fine, and they go out the door. And make their way... I'm, you're muted. Fuck! <laughs> um... I did not expect you next. I lost Rollsies. <laughs> it happens to the best of us, you know what I mean? It's all, it's all RNG, we never know what's coming next. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you look hurt. Everybody. Terry's dad threw me. It is what it is. I'm fine. It's good. I'm fine. Better is yet? Is this the same? Go for it. Is this the same day as when they learned from Rook or a different one? It's the same day. Yeah. So okay. It's the same day. Um, but he, he kind of takes his hand. Got it? <laughs> Lay on hands himself. It's healed. Everything's fine. It's gone. It's done. Gee, I should have done that first. Fuck. <laughs> you okay? Your scar look very nice. Thanks. I'm great. Okay, lies. This is what we're being served tonight. That's fine. It's going to be good. You're going to talk to him and all he's going to do is support you. Okay? I don't want to be supported. I want... That's just too fucking bad. Because that's what you're going to get. And that's what you deserve. Okay? If I, I was in the same to... position, would you say anything different? I think knowing... <laughs> of course I would, I'm sorry. Just knowing with his parents, I think they just hug him. He takes it. Be brave, Poppy Patterson. He's just your dad. <laughs> he walks him to the door. They walk in. Hey, Papa! Stands up. Um... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it seems about right. Just walks over and hugs them. Doesn't say another word. I just want they hug him tightly. Mm -hmm. Same deal as Terry. Yep. I just want to thank you now for the past five years. Being loved by you has been the greatest joy of my life. And if I don't see you again, know that there is nothing I would not give up for you. I'm glad we never have to find that out, so. Yeah. See yeah. you soon. 
I love you. You matter. I will see you soon. Oh, yes, definitely. I can't wait to see what the next lifetime of being your dad has in store. Hugs them back, kisses their forehead, lingers for a bit, but eventually leaves the space. As they walk back, I think they look at Max. Mm. You're going with them, yes? No. Not in a million years. I'm just like you, right? I have every reason to fight and defend all of you. I'm going to be right here. Max, I cannot lose any of my real family. Neither can I. This is how this is going to go. I'm going to be here. I'm going to help. And that's that. Okay. just banish you it'll only last for a minute I'll a counter work. spell it get off very proud that you can do that go back get ready it's gonna be good okay alright last one Frankie boy! Uh, Max is waiting outside. He nods in your direction. Offers a smile. Max. Max. Frank. You doing this? I guess so. <laughs> he kind of yeah. nervous, nervously just laughs and begins to walk you down uh, toward the place, not pushing any conversation. You hanging out or are you taking off or what? I'm here to help. I'm like you in ways. And I can't leave you guys. Knowing that I could be doing something else. Knowing that I could be helping. I can't do that. All right. Hmm. Um... Okay, can you do something for me though? Yeah. Uh, if uh, if if stuff goes wild and you got to make choices, you choose Poppy, okay? I will do my best for everybody. No, you heard what I said. And you heard what I said. For Frank first spends time, a raid. Yeah, for the first time, Max, sharp, intentional. Yeah. Breaking every anxious facade he's ever had. I'll do what I need to in the moment. Yeah, all right. Frank goes in. <laughs> Great. You walk in, and you see both of your parents... Sitting there, bags packed, anxiously awaiting. Um, your mom, based on off of the last engagement you had, sheepishly approaches you. Um, mm. You're gonna be okay. Frank spent a rage on the way in, so he's like, <laughs> he's all, he's like super, <laughs> super pissed off. <laughs> It comes. It comes out as just a clear focus. Yeah. It's not. It's not anger. Or rage. And that's what they're it's, it's saying. It's like, yeah, yeah. We just want you safe. Yeah, I know. And you're as strong as the best of them. 
That's right. And uh, we're gonna when you get when you get home, we're gonna work hard on uh, doing right by and everything that you give to us. I appreciate that. You're right. I love you. And I'm sorry. Do what I can to make it right when we're back together again. I love you too. Best thing you can do is just head on it. She sheepishly just approaches, almost asking your permission to give you a hug. Yeah, for sure. Gives it. Your dad silently walks up, wraps you in as well. No words are spared as he's just crying, just grabs the side of your face and kisses you on the cheek. And the two of them walk out. And as the parents have been in their cars, leave with Caden. So we're going to take our next break in, honestly, what may be the finale session. Ooh. Because the way this is going... Oh. It sounds a lot. Who knows? It, it, yeah. The music mixed with all of that makes yep. it sound like one of us is not coming this back. Is, yeah. This uh -huh. is. <laughs> this may as well uh, yep. be as well, no, the no, end of yeah. the road, and we hope you're here to see if it is. So, thank you guys for being here. Um, we're gonna go to a break. Our skull splitter dice giveaway will reopen when we do. Uh, followers gain one entry. Subscribers get two. Make sure to subscribe before you enter. It is not retroactive. We love you all, we appreciate you all, and we'll see you very, very soon. We'll be right back!
Hello. And hear you. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. We're Hi. back. My fucking sound has paused. I'm about to do a flagip. Okay. We're back. <laughs> um. All right, gamers. We're back. So now it's back. There you yeah. go. Um, the vibes opening up at, after this break are like so vastly different to the previous one because everyone yep. is audibly and uh, <laughs> like actually sad. Yep. Yeah. We're um, like, oh. Hmm. All right. So the parents of the YBC have just departed and are headed home where safety is the prime directive. Um, all of you over the course of the next day or so, um, I assume you're doing prepping planning for this encounter. Yes. Okay. Um, you got. You guys can all go ahead and just give me long rests. Um, because you'll you'll have naturally taken those in that time. Um. Can I say before? Yeah, please. Just something part of that preparation. Oh, of course. Poppy would take out the stones, mm -hmm. the two remaining ones. Yes. That belong to two of the outsiders, and say, they told me that. These are the keys, and that we need to destroy them all together. I know it's been a week since we talked about it. But I think that we should try to do that before they get here. I thought so, we needed the other one. Yeah. I thought we need the last one to do we it, We can't right? do it. So I thought we had to destroy them all, Alec. They that cannot be to... done until they have the Outsider Stone. Yeah. We don't have the other one. There's not the other one. Okay. Yes. I did not have that written down. Nope, that's good. You're all good. That's good. It's good to know. It's good for us to define that, though. Yes. We've noticed yes. A lot of new people here don't know what the stakes are. Bing, bang, yeah. boom. Yeah. Stakes. So, yes, the, the it would have to be retrieving the stone from that outsider and then destroying them all at that point. All right. <sighs> um, so, just uh, everybody has taken their schlong rest. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wasn't that one. It was good. It was with good. comedy. Um, Great. Have we heard from the Black Widow yet in the last week? <laughs> the Russian guy, <laughs> Ivan. Um, our, our Black sorry, Red Widow. Guardian. Give me, give me a general. Everybody can give me a perception check. Oh, I failed this. Or I, I already failed this. I haven't even rolled yet. Oh fuck, Matthew. Perception. Fifteen. 15, 18, 18. Arguably the also 18, 18, nice. What'd you get? Natural, Seven. natural 20. Oh, oh shit. Frank That's clocks so at first as uh, you see the same uh, individual in a white gimp suit uh, <laughs> walking around. Why? Because <laughs> I'm the worst. Jesus. Uh, walking Talk. around and uh, kind of taking perimeter and Poppy and Becca. That's quickly noticeable to you. Um, you see him sort of just taking perimeter and... Uh, should you tell How him to leave? Away? Yeah, I'm going to do that. They um, march up to him wherever he is. Yeah, he's oh, yeah. yeah he, I mean, he's not far, so you're you're able to do so and close that distance. Time for you to go. Uh, I love you so much. You need to go. I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. You have superpowers. No. I know. I know the answer is no. So you're going to go. I'm going to lay in a field 500 meters away. And I'm it's actually really easy to travel 500 meters very quickly. I do it all the time. All the time. But you won't be safe. So I need you to go. And if my soul is intact after all of this, I would love to get to know you again. But you need to Go. Ivan. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Feeling this way. Right, I can't help realistically. I lined the tree line with explosives. 
when they start to get close. That is a good thing for us to know. I was going to tell you anyway. Okay. I just didn't think I was going to get told to get the fuck out of here right now. Ivan, I can't let you die I, here. I get it. I get it, I do. I appreciate the care. He hands them a remote. Please do not press that red button until you are absolutely sure you're out of the radius. What is the Fucking Where big. The... Fucking big. The three line. Yeah. So, okay. the cabin, once you hit it, it won't be a cabin anymore. It'll essentially be a big old bonfire. So good. Oh. So it good. is the cabin, not the line of trees? Oh, the radius. It's around the tree line, around the cabin. So, that shit go boom, cabin go bye-bye. That would 100% have killed us. I was going to tell you! <laughs> and plus, I had the button. I knew it wasn't going to go off. I figured any way I could help would be good. Okay? I'm very grateful. Thank you for watching out for us, for doing this. Is at least I can do with a second chance. Yeah, at everything, so... I'm so proud of you for getting out of there. I did the right thing, because everything else that I they know. asked me to do was wrong. And we can talk about that when I see you next. You have my number. And I'll use it. Good. Can I hug you? A quizzical look. Yeah, I think I would like that very much. He wraps them in a hug and um, give this to um, give this to your friends. Okay. Stay safe, and I will see you on the other side. Best. Just blow them up, and it's easy work. <laughs> All right, I'm going out, there, everybody. Bye. Frank is just gonna turn to Becca real quick and go. <laughs> listen, listen, I can't chip in for the damage deposit. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there right now. <laughs> Frank. I don't feel like this needs to be said this far into our friendship. <laughs> but I got it. I got it. I We're all covered. <laughs> I would pay for the rest of your life if we get out of this. Let's go. I fucking... I can't help with this deposit, dude. I can't fucking do it. <laughs> if the... Um, sorry, I over here. Um, if the cabin blows up they not have insurance? Surely they're like... Yeah, they have Russian yeah, a bunch of kids who stay in this cabin. Whoa, this blew the fuck up. That's <laughs> also, can I retcon that I sent my brand new like record player with my family, so it's not in the I cabin? I sent the kids all with our family. Okay. Yeah, I'll fucking allow a retcon to happen. You know I would I mean? like to just... Retcon all those gifts and everything that we care about <laughs> got thrown in the... I think was... like two hundred dollars. Somebody each, called. Somebody called. All of a sudden, like... every single character was sent with their family, and no one is in the cabin. Hold on. It's and amazing. Everything this that is... everyone cares about is safe and happy. Just for everybody, this is what happened. Hey, Caden, this is Max. Um, yeah, I need you to turn. Oh, okay. I need you to turn around. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, just to pick up this step. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Poor Max. Hmm. Dealing with our shit. It's my ass. What am I? I'll see you soon. Yeah, they said it's fine. They said it's fine. Right. Oh. If you if you um if you want, I can just fly it all down to the base of the mountain, so it's a little easier. Oh fuck yeah, let's do that. Okay, I can I can do that. And He's like just... yes 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 yes. <laughs> okay, that'll make it easier for them. Uh, you know. Okay. Um, that and happens. Am... The retcon happens. Everything of value is taken. Go ahead, Rook. Sorry. I was already planning on setting it on fire. Yeah, we're good. Uh, when everyone is sat, because they're coming for us, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. So whilst we wait by the fire, it's burning brightly. Brooke, when this is all done, 
can we have one fucking party? <laughs> one night just together without demons or otherworldly entities or anything like that? We have a timeshare at a really nice beach house. <laughs> that sounds fucking amazing. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I have a oh, really good that. timeshare. <laughs> And play long beer again? Yeah. Long beer? I'm gonna fucking go the whiskey. Long beer. Long beer. Oh, long beer. Yeah. Yeah. Long beer. The, the, yes. Ah, uh, yeah. We absolutely can. <laughs> I love it so much. For sure. Okay. When all this is over. So we want to. F get them in here, and then we want to get out quickly. I can be pretty fast bait. I... They're coming here anyway. To get us all, I think, if we stand as a united front, fight what we can, and then leave. Fuck. I fucking have the ability... I have fucking magic circle. I'm a fucking idiot. Hmm? I could make if I don't know how much time we have left, but if I draw a magic circle outside of the radius and one inside of the cabin, could get us out really quick. It's amazing. I, I definitely need to be can't taken. Do that. Um, if anyone can take me, I can. I can, I can get you somewhere quick as well. Poppy could do it too. Yeah. And you have that broom. It fly. Oh shit! I do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's in my luggage. I forgot. Okay. Um. Yes. No, I do. Okay. And that's how, just essentially creating time... a spot to teleport to, correct? Yes. Uh, exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Um. Is there anybody going with Rook? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Not, not letting go alone. So <laughs> yes. Is, is we all everybody know? going? I'm sorry. Okay. I should have thought of this before. I just kind of realized I have it. Okay. As yeah, you guys all go. Um, how, I imagine you go quite a bit, quite a ways out. Yeah. Okay. Um, as you're going, it takes me one hour. Perfect. Oh no, sorry. It's casting time is one minute. Yes. It oh. lasts an hour. Mm. It lasts an hour, but this will make the difference. So, as you guys are walking, uh, give me perception or investigation checks. Your choice. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, Chief. I'm not doing well on either of those. <laughs> eh, you know, it's, <laughs> worth a, it's worth a shot, right? I got a Eight. twenty-seven. Hopefully, we're good. Twenty-seven. Eleven. Five. Rook, you're the saving grace here, my friend. As you guys walk a bit of a bit of ways out. You clock this stone structure not too far off from the cabin. You hear voices coming from this stone circle. How do you proceed? I, I think they might already be here. You see... Individuals in cloaks preparing the circle, setting offerings, chanting nonsensical verbiage. Yes. As soon as I see, like, people, uh -huh. I'm going to click one finger down on the ring of spell storing and <laughs> a breastplate of pure fire will appear across my chest as I cast fire shield. Perfect. Where are they? Uh, they are standing, so you're in a, a bit of an alcove here, so you're looking above at this circular um, outcropping with these stone pillars almost. Um, and you see that these, there's a group of about 20 of them, and you do see these malformed, inhuman creatures writhing next to them. And they seem to be laying offerings at this circle and preparing for what's to come. Are there any votes for taking them out right now, or are we running? Do they clock us? 
You guys want to give me a stealth check? Do I roll mine at disadvantage my glowing breastplate? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. 17. 17. 18. Oh, Becca, baby. What'd you get? Nine. Six. Oh, fuck Ooh. my guys. I rolled a two. No, so, no. with a bonus of plus six, I rolled a total of seven. Oh, oh nice. natural one. Nice. Easy Ooh. enough, unfortunately, it seems that a couple of these individuals see you and begin to make chase. Oh, no. Okay, immediately, wall of force around as many of them as I can in okay. a bubble, and I'm going to try and put it through whatever ritual they're making to break okay. the ritual. Um, I will say... Okay, let's move over, let's move over to the Oh, Ooh, no! Oh, okay. Did we spend all that time cutting down trees to not fight at the house? Yep. And laying oh, no. C4? Oh, no! Sure did. And you are attempting to wall the force it, correct? Yeah. Okay, they're going to counterspell. And I would at like, what level? They're going to counter, counterspell at 6th level. And I would like everybody to roll for initiative. They know that it... Okay. Uh, well, wow. someone used a 6th level spell. They saw you. That's good. Coming, oh, and you Let's cast roll. the spell. Please, you know what? I'm rolling a good die. I'm rolling my special dice. I can't roll the red dice. This they've been fucking me all day. <laughs> <laughs> come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. No, didn't work for you, Aaron. Did you move us to the map? Not yet. Sorry, I'm getting it oh. set up. Apologies. You're good. It's we okay. Right. It just means you have to give me then. extra kisses later. Mm. We have to fuck up whatever they're setting up to fuck with our powers. Oh, that's a great point that I forgot about as a plot point. Shiza. <laughs> yeah. Oh, You're no. Like, oh, shit. Bad information. What that's why that I was... wanted to fuck the ritual up. That was it. Mm, you know what, Poppy? Idea. Rook might have, like, the highest, like, int of us. I don't know, maybe. I have a 20. You... I was going to say, you're the smartest one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're the smartest, the smartest one. Absolutely. Such a good You're play. the smartest. I am. Neither of those. Can things. I also give you all kisses as I apologize for the fact that I actually have magic circle and not teleportation circle? I love you all so That's so funny. But I thought good. of that when you Honestly, said it, but I was like, Terry wouldn't correct you because he doesn't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah. know. We tried. Okay, sorry, I'm just getting this version. So we of came the map, all the so. way out here and then Rook is like, wait, no, I can't do this. Fuck. <laughs> Oh no. That's actually fucking hilarious. That's well you Sorry, know. I'm really fucking nervous. Guys, I'm about to go full human torch right now. I'm really fucking nervous is the best way uh to describe that. Okay, sorry. Really Let's get in this. The set for you guys. Chat, how are we doing folks? <laughs> I'm Sad. Honestly, yeah. That's and I am chat, so shut up. <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> sweet <laughs> chat. <laughs> Shutting up commenced. I'm, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I lashed out. I didn't mean to lash out. No, I'm no, just no, very, no. I'm makes, just very scared. It, it make of a sense. You valid as fuck. Okay. I'm gonna cry. No, 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 no. No. no I only. I. I, I am. No, 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 no. I love you all dearly, and I am not lying when I say if uh, if one of us dies, I am going to cry. <laughs> okay. Same bus. All right. I am so going to cry. here's Super the fair. map and the layout. You guys are coming in right about here. If you see my ping on the top of the map here. Wow, they uh, are really doing shit. Oh, huh? there's so many. There's so many of them. Uh -huh. uh, let me go grab my guy. What's then, up, Terry? Do we have it What's on? What's up, danger? Yep, I got it. There we go. I love that our scouts did not notice this at all. <laughs> yeah. What are we paying the Russian for? Not too much. Explosives. Oh, wait, we're not. There we go. That's fair. I want to go <laughs> get the plastic explosives. Um, uh, then, Alec, I don't um... think everyone else will be able to see it, but I'm going to set up uh, an aura on me that's going to be the damage for my fire shield. Got it. Perfect. And then did everybody roll initiative? Yeah. Okay. okay. And then, um, all right, 25 to 20. Sick beans, 20 to 15. 
15. Oh, oh sick. Okay. All right. 15. Back up. Uh, Frank. 18. Oh, perfect. 18. All right. Uh, 10 to 5? Or wait. I, no, sorry. 15, 15 to, to 10. 12. 12. Thank you. Anything else in that 15 to 10 range? Gamers. <laughs> okay. Um, well. 10 to 5? Yeah, I got a 9. Terry, what the fuck did you get? Oh, no, I must have got a 10, because I have plus 8 initiative. So got a 4, but B. I got a 2 plus 2. Oh, no. Okay. 2 squared. The dab. Okay. We're topping off the initiative order. With Frank. Um, yes. Are you? Did you? Are you able to drop your token? If not, I can do that for you. Uh, if you could. I got you, pal. Bing, bang, boom. Hey. There you is. Amazing. Um, okay, Frank has fifty-five foot walking speed. King. So first, he's gonna rage and get super, super hyper focused. Okay. And. He can't. I don't think he can close the distance with anybody just yet. You would also have to make an athletics check because you're dropping down a, oh, a without, smallish cliffside. Without question, okay. he's dropping down the smallish cliffside. Hey, give me an athletics check. Let's do it. That's a 15. 15. Okay. Yeah, it's so strong. You're going to take. And you're raging, correct? Yes. Uh, so you're going to take six falling damage, which is already halved. Nice. All right. And so you're probably landing about here. Great. Okay. And whatever distance I can travel towards this... Uh... We'll say that that was five feet of your movement, so go ahead and, and make it happen. Amazing. I'm closing the distance right here with this dude. Go for it. And uh, swing in that <laughs> trusty pan go fucking bless up go ahead make let's do it make your attacks that's a 22 to hit 22 does hit yeah okay so fucking meaty boy coming in now yeah let's do it click off that rage so that's six damage plus okay seven necrotic damage Perfect. Okay. Right. Yeah, right. you waylay these hits and manage to sink into it. Okay. Amazing. And I uh, get to attack one more time. Go for it. 17 to hit. 17 does hit. Yes. Six more damage. Perfect. And nothing else on top of that? That is my turn. Got it. All right. Looking a little wobbly. Still up. Okay, next up in the order is um, Becca. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna... And after some ads, um, Poppy, you're on deck. Um, I'm going to look at where everybody is mm. and cast Eldritch Blast at the one uh, Frank that's... Hit. Yeah. Got it. Go ahead and make those. And I believe um, you have two or three beams. I have two. Go currently, for I it. Believe. Uh, or actually, no, I have three. Yeah, um, I was going to say. I thought you had three. Uh, I was thinking two attacks per. Ah, per you valid, you valid, you valid. Um, 18 on the first one. 18 hits. Uh, that's a 16 on the second one. 16. That hits. And, and then that is a 23. All three hit. Go ahead and roll that sweet cheeky cheeky damage. Um, okay. Give me one second. There's my D10. Um, and then I need a third one. Where are you? There you go. Um, that is, uh, 15. 15 damage altogether? Mm-hmm, that's for uh, all three. Would you like to do it? Um, I think she... <laughs> If you'll allow me some flavor. Fucking flavor it up, dog. I think that she does a, like, running start. Fuck yeah. Fires three bolts and then does a cheerleader flip to land off of this cliff. <laughs> Bless the fuck up, And would dude. you like yeah. me to roll acrobatics? 
Yeah, do so with advantage. That shit rips. Um, <laughs> I mean, come on. That shit rips. Uh, that is a 22. Perfect. Uh, you managed to make that no fall damage. I think um, she just walks up there, fires three of these. Um, right before she starts to, like, she goes into her flip. It's very cool, but she also is like, oh, fuck. And, like, her <laughs> She's just like, oh, fuck. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> She's like, Perfect. okay. Able, able to definitely do so. Right. Uh, Nicely done. And that's... Yeah, that's her... Uh, okay. Her deal. I think that's it. Awesome. Thank you very much. That's sick. All right, so... On these turns, um, this individual right here begins to call out. On me! Now! As he dives into what looks like this open hole. It's a hole or a ritual? I'm this confused. is a hole. The ritual is happening around this, but this is a hole. Into what you can see is a similar space to what you saw in the Mirage Plaza. Right? And you see as this individual is sucked into this, lights begin to flicker. And you see uh, as they rolled group initiative on at least four of these guys, three more jump in. Ah, oh, the beans. I hate these fucking things. I hate All these boys. Right. And that is that. Poppy, you're up. Okay. Are these and like then, arcane sigil tree? Do they seem connected to this hole? Uh, they do. Yes. Uh, it's I, rocks. Easy, easy enough to see. Yes. Cool. Um, I summon draconic spirit. Great. All right. And oh, then so Rook, sick. you're on deck. Okay. You summon draconic spirit. Let me f- pull up. On I me. climb onto his back. I say, "All right, Pell Gond, let's fuck this up." He has a sixty-foot fly speed. That's so sick. We fly here, and he uses his breath weapon on this sigil. I honestly forgot Poppy could do this, and it's the coolest fucking thing. Holy yeah, it's shit. fucking so. What's fresh. the size on the dragon? I believe it's the size on it. Uh, Draconic spirit. It doesn't. It doesn't specify. Okay. You... Draconic spirit stat. It's the size. I'm also summoning the um, the gem dragon. Perfect. All right. Easy enough. And could you just ping which one you wanted to strike at? The one that I'm right... Just the one you're right next to? Got it. Okay. And I'm just going... I mean, it's not going to make a save. Um, Do you want to just... Do you have the... Oh, the D6? Yes. Yeah, I have the stat. Yeah, go for it. It's also large size. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, And that is nine damage. Uh, The damage type is going to be... Um, for this one, Radiant. Radiant, okay. You see mm-hmm. as this uh, radiant breath that becomes to reap out of your Draconic Spirit starts to attack and blast into this. Um, <laughs> excuse me, sorry. Um, you begin to see cracks start to form on this large rock. And, and I... Mm-hmm. Sorry, there, it has a multi-attack. It does two rend attack. Go for it. Um... Make the attacks the fucking AC is 10. Okay, 17 plus stuff. Yep. Uh, that one was a 6, but it is plus 5, 11. Oh, 11. It's- Wait, that hits. Yep. Sorry. Nice. Um, okay, um, 11 damage on the first one. Okay. Um, 13 damage on the second one. Okay, so that's 24 plus 9, you said? Because it was nine on the first one. Nine and, and then 11. 20, so, okay. Wait, and then, thir- sorry. No, 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 nope, I was oh. counting it. So it was 23 altogether. Um, I'm confirming, I'm not asking you. Um, 23 altogether. Yeah, you begin to see chunks of this rock begin to get blown off, uh, blown away. Um, it's still managing to stand, but you can tell that your damage is making headway on it. Okay, sure. they're just trying to break the sigil tree. Yeah, 100%. Okay. All right. It's my turn. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Rook, you're up. And then after some adage, Terry, you're up. Oh, um, <laughs> pulls out the the broom 
mm. uh, Bruma flying, gets on it, and before they leap off the cliff, turns to Terry and... I hope that aiming at that tree worked. Because I believe in you, but it's time for you to believe in yourself. Uh, is oh, going to gonna... use their... Um, they have a fucking... Uh, Master of Tactics, which is their uh, rogue uh, ability, which is they give the help action as a bonus action. Perfect. Help action as a bonus action. So oh, good. They then fly in 50 foot mm. on their little icky bicky dicky wicky, which is around there. So I'm okay. going to. And then they spin they like throw out their chessboard which is their um fucking uh focus yeah thank you um and they're going to cast channel divinity mm. Ooh. which let me actually move this to here because that is still within the range and i believe oh my god everything has gotten so much smaller i'm going to set myself on fire one sec that's 35 that's 35 <laughs> everyone shut up whilst I do some fucking <laughs> mathematics right now. Oh, no, okay. buddy. no, no, it's all good. Okay, if I can get to here, I can. One, two, three. Okay, that's where we're going. We're standing right next to Poppy, and uh, they, as as the chessboard like floats in front of them, they start setting up the pieces and. They, in this, like, booming voice, mm. uh, echoes around the trees. I'm still setting up. You still have a chance to change your team if you'd like. Uh, and is going to cast their Channel Divinity, which is Air of Authority. Um, each creature of your choice that can see and hear you within 30 foot must make a Charisma saving throw or be charmed by you. Okay. Uh, so What's they're the going to charm these cult uh, cultists. Or try and my thing is they need to beat 17, 17. which is this the save DC. It's a charisma save. It's char uh, yes. Yeah, so, you know, 17, 23, 12, and then an 18. So, uh, I will ping the one that is charmed and it is the one that is closest to you. Um, we're gonna get we're gonna get we're gonna give him a little heart. Yeah, nice. Okay, wow, it turns out... Is that correct? Channel Divinity requires no action? Correct. I thought it was a full action. No. Well, Lordy Lou, let's go <laughs> and fucking do some shit here, then. Uh, Get it. Uh, would you mind awfully if I flavor the rook did the cast in the air and then flies close to the ground to Poppy? No. Go Poppy's in the air also. You're you're I think you're already on par with them. They're on the dragon. Oh. If love you want to get shit. level with them. Yeah. Um They uh as they as they as as he flies next to Poppy, um mm. puts a puts a hand on uh, Poppy's back and I'm excited to see you use the tricks I taught you. Let us get through this together. Uh, and he's going to cast Death Ward on Poppy. Perfect. Oh, together. All right. I love that. I love that. I love that. Nicely done. I appreciate the bejesus out of that. Good <laughs> turn. Good turn. All right. It is now um, the other cultist's turn. The one who is charmed will not take any action. Um, because it, it's deemed, uh, this one is going to use its dash to get in there. This one is going to use its movement to jump in. And this last one is also going to dash. Hate this. To get in and with all of the cultists, but one, uh, you see as these creatures begin to mutter in 
unknowable, untangible, unfathomable language and speak as the lair action is going to take place. And oh. the outsider has arrived. We're going to pop over hey, the bitch. other map. <laughs> hey, bitch. All right. Wow. What? Let me drop these tokens. <laughs> other map. Other oh, no. map, ah, other map, delicious. Um, and then you can just drop your guys. I'll drop the Bruh. dragon token for you, Poppy. Give me one second. Thank you. Of course. And outside was... are gonna mess me up. I'm still standing on a cliff. Um, <laughs> and then let Valid. me grab. As... Sorry, turns tail and runs. I'm just gonna leave, guys. I, you guys got this. <laughs> as the outsider, actually, Ooh. game is this Whoa. fucking sucks. I'm gonna leave. What? Oh, no. oh, 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 no. Not again. Oh, As no. the outsider oh, fully moving. lands, yeah. it's a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Good eyes. And you see, as this massless, formless monstrosity lands in front of you, and that is the lair action. All right. So next up what is happened to my one cultist who is charmed. Oh, he's still there. He's shitless. <laughs> Hello. Can they go out? Can they go out like a fucking champ and try to eat, stab this thing? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. fuck yeah! All right, let's do it. Oh. Is that your directive for this individual? Yes. Die. Uh, Rook says that. Okay, well it wouldn't Pieces do that be because sacrificed. it would. With charm, it would not take fucking action to hurt itself. Stop. Go. All right, it moves do your forward, move. attempts to attack. <laughs> no. Um, as. Stabs upward with this blade um, as it ricochets off this thick, oily, viscous th skin. Um, and. Oh, whoops. He's not dead yet, you fucking idiot. Uh, he's got a little heart because he's charmed. Um, and nothing else. No damage is taken. Nothing oh, transpires. I want the outsider to fucking eat Fortunately. Them. Okay, and then next up in the initiative is. The Terry Baby. And then I'm gonna roll for you. So All right. Um, Terry is gonna think about what was just said with the, um, with Rook essentially like giving the pep talk of like, oh, you better not fucking miss. <sighs> some legends are told, some turn to <laughs> dust, <laughs> don't get gold. And as he's sitting there like with his mantra to himself, uh -huh. that fire shield that's around his chest is going to fully push inward into the flesh and boom, burst out as he's going to cast Investiture of Flame as his action. Nice. As he becomes oh. one with fire. As his bonus okay. action, he's going to activate his um, genie gift and take flight. That's going to be most of his turn, but he's going to use his 30 feet to move forward, which I just figured out where that was and then I lost it. I'm sorry, I'm trying to move. Oh, that gets him right next to Frank. Okay. I always love the processing noises. There we go, and uh, so hopefully I'll be able to help out next time. You guys, <laughs> you guys got this. Okay. You guys go take care of the fight. I'll be here to look cool. Alrighty, and that is your turn. Um, I'm just uh, da -da 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 dexterity. Dap dap. Sorry about that, gamers. Okay. Alrighty, top of the round. Frank, you are up. Becca, you're on deck. All right. Uh, <laughs> Frank sees this giant pyre standing before him, <laughs> and is just like, uh, "So did did all of the cultists just disappear?" They all jumped in the hole and sacrificed themselves to the outsider. Oh God. Uh. Okay. All right, gamers. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> Frank is going to just bean it as close as he can towards this thing. Five, okay. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, right beside Rook. Um, and sees, Hello, hero. Yeah, sees no other option but to just go in swinging with his skillet. It's just fucking whale. Let's just do it. Oh, okay. Can I actually... Um, I'll let you get this attack off because this is me forgetting. I need yep. everybody yep. to give me a wisdom saving throw, please. Okay. I always forget about frightful presents. I'm, I don't use I'm, them. I'm real That's bad at those, though. Should I even... 25. Saving throw? Yes, please. Wait, I got a help action. Which you oh, have advantage green. on, um, mm, Becca. You... I do? Yep, blood hunter stuff. Um... 
So twenty. Hell yeah, that's a natural twenty. Hey okay. Oh uh, shit. Anybody Hell roll yeah. under an eighteen? Yeah, Frank rolled a five. Ugh. Frank, you are frightened of this creature. Damn it. I rolled an unnatural 20 because right. I got a health Everybody else well. is not frightened and you are immune to its uh, frightful presence for the next 24 hours. Uh, for nice. the next minute, Frank, you can make saves at the end of your turn. You are frightened right. of the outsider. Right. Does that mean I have to go as far as possible? Um, let me double check the verbiage of frightened. Um, or I can't move closer? I think you can't move closer do, to do, it. Do, 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 do. There are two right. different ones. Frightened. A uh, frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls whilst the source of its fear is within its line of sight, and the creature can't willingly move closer to the source of its fear. So there if you go. attack it, it's at disadvantage. Dang. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to have to just eat my turn and do my wisdom save. Okay. Does that wisdom save happen at the end of my turn? It does, so go ahead and make it. All right. So my rage goes away. Uh-huh. And... and... and uh, it's the ability check is at disadvantage because you're oh, within that... line of sight. It's Can not I do... a save. It's, it's a saving. Throw, I'm though, dumb as shit. It? Yes, it is. Sorry, booby boobies. Oh, no. Gotcha. Uh, seven. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Frank. What kind of barbarian are you? Uh, a juicy one. Oh, okay. Well, I was just saying. I, I know one of them is immune to frighten. That's why I was asking. Okay. Oh, being immune to frighten. Gotcha. It, one of them is. That's I don't... why I was asking. Is that is that zealot? I don't think it is. Oh, no, it's not Zealot. Okay, that's oh, why I wasn't sure. Got you. Got you. Yeah, Alrighty. I'm happy Zealot. All right, Becca, you're up. Poppy, you're on deck. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's see. How far am I? Um, I think she's going to run here with her 30 feet. Mm. Um. And then, because she is still not right up on it, she will um, go ahead and cast Witch Bolt. Ooh, she can't, she's, nice. She can't get back up on it yet. That is great. Um, Very nice so call. Okay. I, is that a save on my end, or is that an attack roll for I me? rolled a hit. Go for it. Um, so that is a 23. 20. 17 plus 6. Three does hit. Okay. Um. So it takes two d twelve. Nice. Uh, and is this so that, lightning damage? Uh, yes. Got and it. that is. Uh, oh god, fifteen. Fifteen. Um, nice fifteen points of damage. Um. Do 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 do. Uh. And I think I will stay there. Okay. Now. Perfect. Alrighty. And then Poppy, you are up. Next up in the order is Rook after that. You are muted. Okay. So yes, yeah, sorry. No, you're good. Um so oh I have to roll to see if I get a thing back. No! Okay. Um a child. <laughs> Sorry. No. Um, I would like a wisdom saving throw from the butthole. Perfect. The butthole abides. Uh, wisdom saving throw. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, that is a that is a thirty. Oh yeah, that succeeds. Okay. It's not. Uh, hold monster doesn't work. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, nice. You valid. Hey. It's a fucking good move. Um. Cool. Excellent. Um, being like, oh, that was really high. I, oh, okay. oh, no. Cool. Well, yeah, would you they, look at that? Someone who can't do magic counter spell my wall of force and then, okay. Um, they're going mm. to uh, have their dragon just keep attacking this thing, hoping to close that portal in some way and sure. see if it fucks the outsider. Go for it. Um, Go ahead and make the attack. DC one. still 10? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Cool. That, those were both really bad, but they both hit. It was an 11 and a 12. Okay. Yep. Um, Go ahead and roll damage. Ooh. 9 plus um, 5. I will say, oh, your, 14. sorry, your passive investigation is what? I. 19? I figured. 19. Okay. Uh, you are noticing, just if this it changes your uh, move or not, the energy that is radiating from these looks to already be quite frantic and uncontrollable within this pillar that's already been damaged. So 
this might have feedback if it's destroyed. Damn it. Okay. Um, in that case, uh, they're going to do... Oh, I can't move the dragon. Um, Oop, I'll give you... They're going to do a flyby rend, which will provoke an attack of opportunity on the dragon or themselves. Okay. Um, uh, and you should be able to move the dragon. Hey, no. Thank you. It has yep. a fly speed of 60 feet, so it's going to end up on the other side, but it's going to make those two rend attacks against um, uh, a butthead. Okay. If that's okay. Oh, fuck Adu- yeah. Okay. Um, and so it would provoke an opportunity attack from the boy. Um, the boy. What's the... No, am I... Yeah. Go for it. Am I... Um, I, I imagine an 11 and a 12 don't hit, huh? The, is what I rolled no. on the stone. Oh, the 11 and 12 do hit on the stone. No, but I... I I'm imagining I'm keeping them, and they don't. Oh, hit oh this. no, they do not hit. No, no, no. Sorry, I yeah. misunderstood. Um, so to hit, it's going to go for the dragon, and it is going to go for. Shep up, ba da bow, wow. Is going to go for a claw attack. It does a twenty-two hit. Twenty, yes, twenty-two. Yeah. Okay. Um, as that claw attack mm. goes off, Rook. Yells, uh, I'm pretty sure that move is not optimized and is, uh, and they're going to use their cleric feature, intimidate the meek, and they uh-huh. roll with disadvantage on the attack. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a 21. Oh, one okay. Off. <laughs> uh, okay. Yep. Can I? Am I allowed to use my reaction if somebody already used a reaction Baby, about Baby, you this? guys can use reactions yeah. all day long. Fuck it up. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. Um, Blood Curse of the Eyeless. Roll your hit die and see if it subtracts. Um, five? Minus five? Uh, oh! So that that would, would not hit. Oh, misses. fuck. How does this manifest, oh! Becca? Um, Clutch-ass fucking move. Uh, um, my bad. Uh, no, you're good. I think, um, I think, uh, she has already, like, her hands are still outstretched from the witch bolt, and there's this, like, this, like, pink electricity like still connecting her to this creature Mm. and it's like she grabs the lightning and just pulls it back and blood starts to like fall from her pink eye that fucking rips and it's like she pulls the attention back to herself you see as the tendrils (laughs) that go to swipe at um poppy's illusory dragon are just pulled back as these lashes of blood that you unleash pull the outsider back and you see it looks toward you now that was an interesting move it talks i hate it yeah all right i'm an interesting person <laughs> 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 fuck you <laughs> okay it, amazingly done amazingly done and Poppy, that is the end of your turn, correct? Because we just did a bunch of reactions. That's my whole turn. Got it. Thank you so much. Rook, you're up. And then it is the outsider's turn. Um, Rook on the broom flies down and mm. they try to stop themselves, but the speed of it just makes them like stumble and they fall over a little bit. They scramble back to their feet um, and they run to Becca. Uh... Becca, okay. I'm so sorry. I I I wish I uh, knew how to be good with words, but I um... am right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's like I... holding. She literally has just said this. To literally, this fully like... doing this thing, and is like, I wish I knew how to be good with words, but uh-huh. um, I, I I whenever I speak to you, I get We're very tongue tied. But I believe um, in you. I uh, I believe in you too, and I want you to know that no matter what happens in this fight, I'm uh-huh. going to heal you. I will stand next to you, no matter what. We're going to get out of this uh, together, and they're gonna like wipe the blood from their eye. Um, 
and uh, you are a uh, you are more beautiful than anything I've ever seen. You're the reason why I understand that the soul is a real tangible thing that exists. Your kind and one of the funniest and smartest people I've ever met. And I just think you're fucking phenomenal. Uh, <laughs> is going to cast as they wipe the, the eye of blood is going to cast death ward. And also then be like, Oh, by the way, that seems like a weak spot. Uh, <laughs> casting the, uh, the bonus action help get back on the broom and rook is going to fly off again bless up. as death ward is cast mirror spell on rook nicely done oh yeah nicely done all right that's a fucking good turn rook that was the cutest shit i've ever seen alec is just <laughs> still holding lightning like the fuck just <laughs> alec sitting here just fucking kiss already all right she's like i oh, well he's gone and is that the end of your <laughs> is that the end of your turn bub yep okay I need everybody in a 60 foot radius of the outsider. I think that's all of us, right? I believe I think so. So, mm -hmm. this one of be Yeah, that's everybody. I need everybody to make a constitution saving throw, please. Oh, I am. Ooh, I'm not bad at these, uh -huh. so I'd rather not actually. Um, okay. 15. I rolled not, not bad. 15, 15 is a failure. Um, ah, 18. Uh, 18 21. just succeeds. 21. Anyone succeeds? Matt? What the, what'd you, you? Six. Oh, Bubby. Okay. Oh, my dragon rolled a fucking 23. That's a success. <laughs> Could you imagine it? That fails, but the 18 succeeds. It's fucking yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the worst. Um, what is dice? Um, okay. So everybody who failed is going to take. Oh, fuck me. 61 points oh, of force God. damage as concussive down? blast is sucked inward and just <laughs> blast okay? throughout the space. And Rookies. everybody who succeeded, you're going to take 30. Not looking good. We took 30? Yes, whoever succeeded. Oh, so 18 okay. and above, no. if you succeeded, you took 30. Oh shit. Um, oh, death ward no. is not concentration. No, no, no. Death ward just picks you up at one if you fall. Yeah. yeah, which luckily you have. Um, and I just oh letting God, you know, yeah, I'm not yes, please. just letting you know that my concentration can't be broken by taking damage yep. on the dragon. Nope, because uh, you have. Oh, what's I the also need to. Uh, it's a feat, right? Mine. It's a conjuration I thing. Got it, got it, got it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do I need to get. I have to get half, right? So you I have, have to get a 15. You have to get a 15. 15. Yep. Okay. Natural 19 for me. I succeed Perfect. on my Natural team. 20! Fucking oh, A, yeah, gamers. gamers. We're doing that Fuck thing. Fuck you, you just pissed me off. <laughs> okay. Six, 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 sec. All right. Um, all right. And that was his action. He's going to move. No! No! 50 feet back. Um, the cultist is gonna get an attack of opportunity. Hell yeah! We're gonna see oh, the no, game. Oh no, sorry. The, the... So it was till the end of my <laughs> next turn, which okay. has just happened. So they are no longer charmed. I mean, okay. Obviously, I'd love to see the cultist take a swipe at this. He's not horror, gonna if but... he's not. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna move here and just turn around at you lot and just. This was deeply interesting. I... Oh, go fuck yourself! <laughs> no monologues for you. Moving on, Terry, you're up. Frank, you're up. Terry, on well, so this thing moving that has just uh, bone Terry's spine, so Terry can get uh, there with thirty feet of movement. So Terry's gonna move, whoop, there, uh, flying at his full speed, and he just looks at the thing, and goes. Oh, bite me, you ugly motherfucker! And he's gonna point his fingers and directly in the middle of it, cast Fireball at 5th level, centered on it. I need Fucking a deck save. Hey, let's do this, wow. gamers. Uh, let's God. see here. I need a lot of D6s. Holy shit. A deck save? Uh, a deck save from that thing, yeah. Oh, this ain't gonna go well, I guarantee it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> a four? Four? Yeah. Uh, nice. Yeah, no, that's a definitely a failure. I'm sorry, it's gonna take me a second to count no, up all no, this damage! Oh, yeah. Guys, in the meanwhile, go check out Skull Splitter Dice. Do you want 100 uh, dice to roll D6s here. for your fireball attacks? That's, check out let me the, pull out all the know. sixes real quick, because there are several sixes on these D6s. Mm. So that's 18, 28, 38, 40, 
45 points of fire damage Nicely to this thing. Fucking uh, as I drop one of my very few spell slots. Ooh. All right. Use um, this large blast of flame. Uh, let's see here. Jams into oh. the outsider's mouth and just causes this doof, 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 small implosion inside of it. Uh, and uh, the human torch is going to go ahead and uh, end his turn because that's everything he's got going on. Jesus. Okay. Nice. All right, uh, so Frank, you're up. Becca, you're on deck. Yeah. So if if Frank goes here, does that count as, as moving towards him or just like adjacent? You, you uh, well, you, I'll, I'll allow it. Move adjacent. You're fine. Yeah. That's great. Awesome. So Frank's going to go over there, but he's seeing like Becca's bleeding. Terry's on fire. <laughs> other... That's on purpose. That's the rest, on, of that's his friend, rest of his friends are flying in the air. Um, and, and no matter, like, he just can't, he can't focus. So he's going to fire another rage out. Okay. And he has to end his turn there. But this time he's going to, uh, double down if it doesn't work out this time. See, ah, he rolled an 11, but he has fanatical focus. So he's going to use it this time. Okay. To re, to re roll it. Go for it. Oh. Hell yeah. Take a nat one. Oh, oh no. Buddy. No. Unfortunately. Wait, with you, doesn't that total out to zero? Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Jesus, just, Lord. Frank um, is petrified. Unfortunately, you are still terrified. Buddy. You're still frightened. Yeah. Okay. End of his turn. All righty. Becca, you are up. And Poppy, you're on deck. Cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah. My, uh, my, um... Oh gosh, my uh, witch bolt is still up, yes. so I'm gonna use my action to continue that. Okay. Um, uh, so that is a twenty-two to hit. Yes. Yes. Um, okay, so it takes. Uh, ooh, that was a twelve. Uh, <laughs> eighteen points of damage. Nicely done. This is um, damage. Uh, yes, Got and it. I think she walks directly, like here still holding that spell like out in front of her mm. um did rook fall back when he took like full molly Wop of 60 points <laughs> yeah and, like <laughs> they, i imagine they like they flew down tripped fell over scrambled talked to becca <laughs> jumped back on the broom flew up explosion fell back down scrambled back up again <laughs> okay uh so is he standing or no yeah he's standing i'd say this okay. he's still, he's still uh she uh, very bloodied, but standing. has like she, she like has one hand holding this like pink lightning while it sustained this like pink like colored eye is yeah. just like blowing. I like to imagine like the little like white ends of her hair are like sparking Ooh. with like this little like this electricity. I think she reaches forward with her free hand, pulls him forward, goes really need to stay behind me <laughs> just stay and she's gonna kiss him oh! Oh, get it! <laughs> and use her bonus action to do right focus great uh and that's an eight so you get 10 hit points back nice as she kisses you oh Somebody and then she, that, please. And Somebody then she push, that? And then she pushes you back and pulls you behind her as she holds this lightning. <laughs> what a bad bitch. Okay. All right. I ain't ever been with a baddie. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that TikTok audio? It's like, how'd you how'd you bag a baddie? She threw me over her shoulder and I've been here ever since. <laughs> that's that's, a, that's about the extent of the relationship. All right, is that is that your turn, Becca? That is my turn. Thank you so much. That was a fucking banger of a turn. Poppy, you're up. Thank Look, you. you are on this deck. This is where I am. I mean, it's my I turn? Yes, and then Rook is on deck. Okay. Um, I Seeing that um, it doesn't seem particularly dexterous when Terry... Uh, mm -hmm. Hit this thing. I need another deck save. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The bucket's 14. 14? That saves, right? Okay, that totally baby. does it? Uh, that totally no. That does it? <laughs> this won't 
This won't disintegrate him, but he does take 80 points of damage Ooh. as they cast Disintegrate on the butthole. Hell yes. Ooh. Ready? Ready? You guys ready? We, I haven't done one all game. Oh my god. <laughs> yes! Yeah. You said 80? That's how we win. 80. Fuck my whole face, oh, dude. All right. I'm trying. <laughs> no, yeah. don't say you're trying. <laughs> um, how, what is this, you know uh, what? Poppy, what does that this one. disintegration look like? I'm going <laughs> to... Is there a circus there... in town I'm trying to join? <laughs> It's right here, baby. Really are it's right here. <laughs> we are the Welcome circus. Welcome to the inn. Um, they have this new tattoo, the flowers uh, that symbolize all of their new friends, and they uh, reach out and point and they go, this has been really interesting, and then just right into the <laughs> gaping hole of a face. Great, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. You see this magic just fucking... You see, what you imagine would be a tongue is completely turned to ash, as no verbiage can come to this creature any longer. All right. Great. Um, that's, they're not done. They no, fly no, no. up here. You're good. And they got, well, oh, can I make it all the way? Okay, yeah. They fly up here first to do their two rend, their two rend attacks. Okay. Ooh! Um. What am I adding to this? We have two different. Um, 28 to hit. 28 hits. Okay. I threw that piece of I love the voice that um, everyone uses when they're trying to I figure something not. out, which is like the, oh, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> oh my God, oh my 13 God. radiant damage on the first one. We suddenly 13? lose all breath. 14. 14, thank you. Um, 23 to hit. 23 hits. Yep. Woo! Max damage on this one. Um, 15. Here we go. 15, nice and then mm-hmm. they did get their breath. The Pelgon got his breath weapon back. Perfect. I dropped one of my D6s, so I'm just running back and twice. Five, six, can seven. It, can it do the multi attack and a breath weapon in one action? It can do the breath. Wait, I don't did think I read can. this wrong? I'm sorry. I fucked up, ignored that um, last one. You're good. Um. Yep, yeah, that's their turn. Okay. Ready. Do, 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 do. Um. Rook, you're up. And then the outsider is after. <laughs> Rook fully stumbles and f- I, I, uh, uh, I, I, um, I fucking thank you. And then takes on the broom <laughs> and flies back. <laughs> Should Rook roll uh, for like st- for stunned this round? I don't know. Yeah, Rook is fully actually <laughs> nah. stunned. Um, flies toward uh, Frank lands off the broom and is like oh my god do you fucking see that i don't i just thought i um, i fucking <laughs> um, not the space frank. alien the kids <laughs> so frank we need you out there it's 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 getting scary and we need our hero okay i i know you can i know you can do it okay hey shape up it's th- it's time to play the game uh is going to cast beacon of hope mm. on Aww. Uh, Frank, Rook, and Terry, because it has to be uh, any number of creatures within 30 foot range, and that's all I can fit in here. Um, Perfect. Uh, so wait, for the duration, each mean? target has advantage on wisdom saves, death saves, and regains the maximum number of hit points possible from any healing. Oh, wow. So, yes. Uh, all right. Not rolling anymore, gamers. Um, yeah. I mean, Morgan says thank you, but Frank is, like, stunned. I don't even know if he saw the kiss, to be honest with you. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, Rook fully is, like, s- snapping in, in, in Frank's face. Like, yeah. Come on, hero. We got to shape up. Perfect. Nice done. And that's your turn? Uh, that was a movement. Uh, gonna uh, point at Terry and... Um, Hey, Flame Boy, they're weak around, like, the left te- the left tentacle they just lashed out with. It's weak there. Hit it. And then it's the health action. Hell yeah. As well All again. Right. Nice oh, hell yeah. Fucking done. Okay. I love that. Yeah. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. It is, indeed, the Outsider's turn. I need... Hmm. It's gonna use a legendary action. 
It's gonna teleport. Oh, Ugh, you fucking ass. Or no, legendary oh. actions at the end of. Oh no. And on twenty. Legendary... Oh no no no. no legendary it's at, at the end. Of... Legendary somebody the end else's of turn. Mm -hmm. Well, it is the end of your turn technically. It is it's the end of my turn. Okay. Yeah. So he's gonna use oh, it no. and he's gonna teleport and he's gonna go right over here. And at the beginning of his turn, he is oh going God. to oh, no. move forward and make his multi-attack against Frank and Brooke. Yep. Okay. So. Fuck. We're going to. So uh, Rook is getting one you attack. You fucked up trying to attack Frank and Fatadas. He's going to impose disadvantage by Intimidate the Meek. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So with disadvantage, that attack on you, Rook, is a, uh, with disadvantage, is a non-natural 20. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Sorry, bub. Um, and then the two on you are at advantage because you're frightened, I believe? No, that doesn't, I don't think that means I'm it. frightened. It I'm doesn't matter. No. Disadvantage to Frank to Oof. attacking. Oh, so the, okay. So the one at you is at full normal. Yeah, mine is... Got it, got it, got it. Sorry. Got it. Yeah, no, I was no, talking no. about the frightened action. You're good. Yeah. I understand. Okay. All right. Rook would, um, would do Intimidate the Meek on perfect. Frank. Or Frank. Got it. Not okay. On um, so then you, Frank, or you, Rook, will take... Um... Oh. Do, 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 do. Uh, you're going to take 16 slashing damage as well as... Um, I need a constitution saving throw. Oh, boy. How does a 14 feel? Sounds Pretty like a good for you, failure to me, actually. <laughs> um, and you're going to take 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, you're going to take 11 force damage as this wave, as this attack hits you, there's a concussive <laughs> blast that hits your rib cage as it connects. Hey, hey, wow. hey, Pop. Thank you very much for that death ward that has now been spent. All right. You're very well. Yeah, it looked like it. Fuck. Perfect, okay. perfect. All right. And now, Frank, these two coming at you, the... Are both oh, attacks shit. at Sorry. Frank disadvantage? I need, to, I need to make a I need to make a concentration to keep beating. Yes, you up do. Up. Uh, um, that first one, I imagine a fourteen does not hit you, Frank. It does not. Okay, this next one is ooh seventeen. I have an eighteen AC. It misses. Alrighty, those both miss you. Okay, that is the outsider's turn. Next up, Terry. Frank, you're on deck. Um. As it comes to Terry's turn, he's going to look back at Becca, who would, like, that's the previous direction he'd been looking before he noticed the outsider teleport. He's going to go, we got to go save your boyfriend. By the way, called it. And he's going to turn and, uh, he's going to turn and pull his baseball bat off his back. Oh, come on, motherfucker. Uh, yeah. he's going <laughs> to flash with it. And instead of trying to hit, he's going to go ahead and use part of Investiture of Flame. And as the baseball bat swings forward, fire goes forward in a 15-foot line. Oh, fuck, I need a deck save from the outsider, this deck please. save? Don't work. Ah, shit. 12. 12? All right, I need to roll 4d8 fire damage. Give me a moment. You Fuck it up, gang. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, actually, I rolled really low. 5, 9, and then... So it's going to be 14 points of fire damage. 3, 6, uh, 9, damn, girl, fine. You said 14. And I'm going to look at him and go, Hey, I told you to fucking look at me. Uh, give, and... me a, give me a fucking intimidation check. Sure. Let's go for it. Uh, that's a... Ooh, actually, I have a really good charisma. So that's going to be... Uh, plus 5 is a unnatural 20. You see as the form? Turns to you. Hell yeah. That's going to be Terry's turn. Nicely. Oh, I got a fifth level reaction waiting for him. All right. With that, I need every... Uh, okay, that's the end of your turn? Yep. All right. With this, I need everybody to make a perception check. I'd love to. Please and thank you, babies. Ooh. 21. 21? 17. Eight. Not good. Yeah. Natural 20. Hey. Everybody except Becca and Poppy begin to see a form running towards the group. Max. As Max is running forward. <laughs> Come on, Jack. No! Let's do this. Where is. Fuck, uh, I don't see it. Never mind. He's right. You don't see it, but he, you see he creeps up behind, and I will roll initiative for Max. He's so cute. I love him. Baby, no. Damn, baby boy. Baby, yes. The fuck? <laughs> he rolled really well at beer pong too. Like he, I don't think okay. we should be surprised. 
Oh um, my god, wait guys. He's, he's got literally it. our knight in shining armor showing up right now. He's well, he, he's white knighting so hard right now. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> okay. We're going backwards again. <laughs> you got a you got a 24 on initiative. Damn. Now this time he earned it. Oh no. Damn. Character development. It's broken. Okay, it is and so then <laughs> at the top of the order it is Max's turn. I got I need him to make a wisdom save, which I guess plus three to those. He got a 23. He is not frightened. Um, I'll make a perception check to see if... Yeah, he clocks here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. He's going to run over as close as he can get, which is over here. Uh, and you just hear, I'm on my way! And that is the end of his turn. Next up is... Frank, Becca, you're on deck. Let's go. Okay. Is Frank in front of this thing, like, uh -huh. in melee with it? Uh, you, yeah. Well, yeah, you'd be in melee. I'd say you'd hit it. Fuck you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I can't, I can't go closer, but I don't need to. So nope. yeah, you can fuck it up right there. <laughs> Frank is going to fucking rage. Hell yeah. And he's gonna do it. He's gonna just swing. Go for it. Make the attack rolls. That's 20 to hit. Did you roll a disadvantage? I did not. You, oh. you are still frightened. Unfortunately, that is a I disadvantage. I am still frightened. Yep. Uh, 20, okay, 24, 20. 20 is the roll. It's nice. Eight. 24, 20, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Fuck yeah, dude. So we got eight plus seven necrotic. Ooh, nice. Uh, eight plus... Okay. Uh, so, eight, he, so eight plus seven. Um. Yeah. Eight plus seven necrotic. It's like done. Okay. And then his second attack is a fifteen to hit. Fifteen does not hit, unfortunately. Gosh. All right. Try my best. You're doing great, it's and I'm very, proud very well. of you. Um, and then I get wisdom saves. A with yeah, advantage. You get your, you get your wisdom save with advantage. Hope. Um. Easy Can enough. Seventeen. 17? 17. Oh. Just fails, no. bud. Oh, but damn it. I'm so... I, ro I, ro I rolled an 18 and he has minus one. Oh, so... Baby boy. No. I'm so sorry. I am emotionally. I'm a dick. Bad. I'm unwell. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, bub. Um, okay. Uh, you can see, I will give this to you guys since uh, everybody is relatively close and you can see the creature mm -hmm. beginning to look weathered. Beginning mm -hmm. to look weathered. Um, okay. Next up in the initiative order, uh, Becca, and then Poppy, you're up. <sighs> Fun fact, my little athletic girl I forgot has 40 feet of movement speed. You do. Speed, Very which nice. puts her Very nice. right here with 40 feet. Fuck it right up, King. Right in front of again. Fuck it up, King. Uh, I think that Terry says that. She fumbles a little bit, and then she's like, okay. Um, and she <laughs> sprints, still holding this witch bolt. Mm -hmm. So she's just fully still tethered to this thing as it keeps teleporting around. I love that. Um, she runs, like, does, like, a very, like, athletic slide into right, like, in front of him. Fuck looks at it. him again and repeats, what did I just say? <laughs> uh, what did I just say, dude? <laughs> and she, uh, it's a 24 to hit. 24 hits. Um, and then, or 22. 22? 22. Does that still hit? And a 22 hit? Yeah. Sorry, yeah, okay. I did a hot um, dissociate. That's a 12 and 11. So, so 23. 23. Okay. 23 points of damage. Fuck it up, fuck it up. All right. Um, 23 points of damage. Uh, then I think she's pretty much used all of her um, bonus actions that she can right now. So she is literally just planting herself in front of her in front of him okay. she's like i can't heal you anymore you've just got to stay alive <laughs> so she has put her physical body in front of the boy nice. the best she got uh and that is, is her turn okay it's gonna use two of its legendary actions oh mm -hmm. we just grouped up around it this is a yep bad we idea. did oh and it is going to cast fireball Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Right no. on everybody here. 
So I need dexterity uh, saving throws from Becca. Rope. Um, counterspell. Go for it. Um, yes. Yeah, oh, it's counterspell. Shit, gamer. Is it it's counterspell? Ca yeah, cast the third level. Oh, thank God. All right, oh, nicely God. done. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Hal. So many of them would have just gone down. Had that happened. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> I probably would have been okay. All right. Rook might have actually fully died. Rook might have actually fully gone down. Like, yeah. died, uh, died. Died, died. Nice, nice move, Poppy. It is your turn. Becca, you are done, correct? Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Poppy, you're up. Rook, you're on deck. Okay. I know nice I stood the group move. up, but, like, you look really hurt. They're going to fly over here, and they're going to, as their action, use their Kyoktums on uh, Rook. Got and it. you heal uh, for... I, you don't actually need to roll. Just tell me what the max, max is. I have beacon of hope on me, so I... Mm. Oh, the max the is... maximum amount. 16, 18. Hell yeah, dude. So you wow. heal 18. Um, and then they um, leave Mr. Dragon here, but they bonus action... Wait, can they see Max? Oh, give me a perception. I don't want to. I don't want to no, mitigate. No. He did scream uh, as well, so give me that perception. Scream. I'm here. Sixteen. So you see him. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> then they do. Then I do the thing that. Yeah. Um, they use their uh, conjuration. They'll they use their um, they touched ability to misty step right okay. here. Uh, you see, go. as you get closer, his arm blade is out, oh. and he's got a pistol in the other Sick. hand. Oh my Sick. god. You look my very cool. Maxed. Thank you. Oh my yeah. god. Back I'm... the fuck up. Um, Alpha Max. Alpha and... Sigma Max. <laughs> Does he be... He doesn't look like he's going to back up. He just kind of looks like, I have to help. I can't leave you like this. I can't. Oh, Max. Um, I think they hug him as their dragon, which I did read it. It does say and breath weapon. Got if it. If you get okay. it back. Perfect. Um, uh, okay. The dragon's going to attack the thing. Um, Go for it. First one's a 19. 19 does not hit. Uh, 12 plus, I can't do math. 21! It's nice. Okay. Fuck it up, fuck it um, up. That is 6. Fuck it up, fuck 15, it up. 15 damage. Okay. And then, I'm sorry, I have to read the verbiage on the breath weapon again. No, no, I no. You're dumb. Good. I believe it's a save, isn't it? I, it makes uh, sense. Excuse it... me, you're extremely intelligent. Thank you very much. That too. Um, yes, it is a say what? a deck save. Deck save, Ooh, my nice. favorite. I'm really good at this. I'm gonna eat glass. Eleven. You fail. Okay, that is just eight uh, radiant damage. Okay. All right. That is you... my turn. Perfect. You guys are chipping away heavily at this creature. Rook, you are up. And then the outsider um, is up. As Rook, as sorry, as as Poppy lands, um, heals Rook, uh, and then teleports. Or just before, just like as they're misty stepping, Rook looks at Poppy, and again, there is nothing we cannot beat if we are together. Everyone, <laughs> they're like the enemy is falling back. <laughs> Fucking full speed ahead! <laughs> they yell. Full speed uh, ahead! Going to cast Beacon of Hope again, but okay. this time everyone is affected. Nice. So now oh. everyone has advantage on all wisdom save. And this uh, is just death saves. This is just Terry, heals. Becca, Frank, and Poppy. This is everyone. No, like I get oh. to pick as many creatures as I want to be thing to Perfect. This, as I long believe. as they're in the so radius it's... of Beacon of Hope. All right. Yeah. 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 And that Which is, is thirty. So. It's just everyone. That is what happens. Perfectly. Um, the third level spell, and, and it's so good. All right. And is that your turn? Then, um... Oh, sorry. Slaps, uh, Frank. And is like... <laughs> Come on, hero. Come on, hero. Bring it home. Uh, <laughs> is going to use the bonus action. The the help action thing. Okay. Bonus action help. Becca Foley is right. standing in front of this going, Please heal, your heal yourself. Please. Just okay. <laughs> heal yourself. It is the outsider's turn. We're gonna take so much damage. We're gonna take oh, so oh much god. damage. Yeah, we are. Oh, oh god, a little bit. Right, oh my god. What if I go down and don't concentration? Obviously, that's not gonna happen. But... It gets its rend back. I need all of you to make a fucking. What did I say? It was a Constitution saving throw. Jesus, I'm blind. Oh no. Oh fuck me. Okay. Seven. 
Um, oh, uh, 19. A natural 19. 20. 22 with a natural 20. Okay. Ooh. And then Frank? 19. 19. Everybody but Poppy succeed. Oh, I gotta roll for Max. Oh, Baby Max. Boy. No. Max, no. It's Max, a, no. A constitution save. Well. Um, Maybe. You got a 16, which does not succeed. Okay. Reaction. Cause fuck that. Um, okay. Echinacea's defensive dome around Perfect. Max. How does this manifest? What does this look like? There is this sudden um, rush through the snow of these spring flowers. Mm. Um, and the fern that manifested on um, their arm that represents Perfect. Max just kind of shields in front of him and is shredded by whatever this rend attack is. Okay. But it takes, what, 30 of that damage? 30 of that damage. Um, I still have to roll. Does, I believe the damage does bleed through, though, correct? The remaining damage will, unfortunately. Okay, no, no, no. I, I thought that's what it was. I just wanted clarification. He doesn't um, take 30 of it. He, correct. I can't see. Okay. Uh, not D19, you fudge and agent. Guys, I'm stressing. I'm going to be honest here. I love you, really. There was genuinely no way I could have healed myself okay. to not yeah. go down. Yeah. Uh, Poppy, you're going to take the full 67. Thank um, you for the death ward. I would have been down. Um, there we go. Max is going to take 37. Minus. No, no, no. 30. That's what oh. it is. It's minus the 30. Because gotcha. he would have taken the full, he failed. Um, gotcha. So he's taking the 30 set, not 370, you dingus. <laughs> uh, baby you boy, no. dingus. You see, he take, kind of takes this blast. Everybody that succeeds will take 33. As uh, I am struck by this spatial rend that you were discussing, yes. I'm going to. No, you motherfucker! I was waiting for this one, uh, and I'm gonna push it forward. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with a hellish rebuke, fifth oh, level, fuck. Uh, the, the second nice. of my third uh, spell of my three spell slots. So that's gonna be Perfect. last time it was ten d six. This time it's six d ten. Uh, uh, oh, I see some eights. Okay. Oh, that's a d eight. That's why I saw an eight on that one. I need to roll a d ten. Oh. There we go. <laughs> okay. You're perfect, uh, King. Let's see here. Don't ever change. Uh, eight plus nine is going to be seventeen. Uh, plus seven is going to be 24. Uh, plus seven more is going to be 31. Plus three is going to be 34. Uh, 37 points of fire damage, assuming he fails the deck save, which I need for him. He's you. fucking gonna. We hope. Ah, oh, 13, Maybe. bitch! Mm, 37 nice. points of fire damage. 37, nice. you see as chunks of tendril and this massless flesh begin to fall off, he is not looking good. Speaking of not looking good, speaking of hope uh -huh. fails, as Rook crumples to the yeah. ground, Rook is currently you are controlling uh -huh. death saves. All right. Oh, God. And with that, uh, Terry, it is your turn. Uh, there's, that was like my big, that was my ace in the hole. I got like not a whole lot left in my tank. Um, 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 um. <laughs> I have to go with him if I want to put him in the bottle. Uh, so I can't put him in the bottle, which sucks because I would love to put him in the bottle. Um, I'm jam, what I'm going to go I'm ahead... Uh, I got to save my last spell slot, so I'm just going to keep using my invest... Oh, I have to roll a check to see if I keep my investiture. I took oh, 33, so I have to make DC 16 con save. Okay, yeah. I got a plus 2, so I got to hit at least a 14 on the die roll to keep the investiture. My witch bolt fails as we take that attack. Rook falls, she screams, and the magic falls apart. That is at 18. Fuck yes. All right. So I keep the investiture. investiture I'm going to go ahead up. and give me another deck save, yo. Natural uh, one. Let's see. Natural one. Which means this is double damage. Double damage. Uh, double damage. Does it really? That's yes. how we homebrew? That's awesome. Okay. Uh, eight plus six is 14. Plus five is 21. Plus two is 23. Uh, so 23 doubled to 46 points of fire damage off of the investiture. As again, I just take my baseball bat and swipe with fire uh, towards it. Terry, the last two years has been nothing if not the most horrendous whirlwind you have ever been witness to. Questioning yourself, questioning your friends, questioning everything about yourself. This is the creature causing that. This massless, dickless, butthole-looking thing from another universe... Ugly motherfucker. ...is the cause of everything. 
how would you like to do this? Oh, uh, yes. God, As I see the strategist go down, I see the strongest of us paralyzed in fear. I see our heart reunited with one of their friends and keeping them safe. I see Becca there trying to hold everything together. I'm going to fly at this fucking thing and I'm jumping right in its goddamn mouth with a flame strike directly into its throat. Oh, you um, absolutely tear. Flame on, motherfucker. The outsider, as its warbling, massless form begins to crumble into ash and nothing but dust and a stone falls to the ground. I totally leave it in the dirt. We're not worrying about no stone. We're worrying about our friend. All right. Yeah. We are Becca out. is screaming. We are out of initiative order. For somebody that can do something. Yeah. Because she can. Poppy, um, even before they just, before they scramble down this ledge, they're just going, they see Rook fall. They see this thing disseminated. And as they see Terry just obliterate their problems, there's just this, like, realization. They just, there's a tear streaming. They say, there's nothing we cannot be together, Rook. And they cast Healing Word. Oh, bring it back. Aww, bring okay. it around. All right. Rook. My heart. What you see while you are in this odd middle place is undescribable. But the words of your friends, the words of these people that you have this shared horrific experience with begin to ring in your ears. Becca crying for you. Terry waylaying into this creature and Frank showing his support. Poppy repeating to you the words that you once said to them. With as much intention and care as you put in them, into them before. As <gasps> air begins to come back from your lungs. The cold <gasps> beginning to hit your skin. <coughs> Fucking blood. Max runs up and dumps all of his lay on hands into you. Um, so you're going to heal for... Uh, you're gonna heal for 50 hit points plus four perfect <laughs> my wee one heal hey we love that honestly the, uh, we won becca does the collide like the slide on the ground collide like <laughs> hug thing <laughs> tackles him into the ground <laughs> She's crying. Hey, no, no, no. We won, Shut up. right? Shut up. <laughs> yep. You... I to cry. I... I'll... I'll heal you. Amidst this revelation, Max is walking around. Anybody need help? I can't hear anybody. <laughs> I'm, just, I, um, I'm trying here. Uh, Becca does look... Half, uh, half one. I have one hit point. <laughs> yeah, great. maybe okay. Poppy first. Becca's, uh, Becca's half there. She's good. Max will cast um, Cure Wounds at third level on the both of you. Aww. Um, so sweet. So you each heal... I don't know why I did that, you idiot. Um, Becca, you're going to heal for 16, or 19 hit Thanks. points, excuse me. Yeah. And then, Poppy, you're going to heal for... Um, ah. Ah. You're going to heal for 20. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, as you feel these stones in your pocket begin to vibrate, and the one on the ground begin to shake, now is your time to decide. Um, Poppy puts the stones on the ground, and I think they just look around the group. I understand if you don't want to do this i made my choice i don't want to make your choices if you want to keep it a bit quiet please I know thought... that i won't resent you at all didn't we already vote on this i thought we already made a decision together yeah we all came clean and talked about uh, talked everything out and was totally forthright and honest with every other single one of us and For made a decision sure. yeah yeah 
Frank looks battered. Uh, and with so he's got he just he drops the lid that he's been using as a shield. He drops the skillet, and he just kind of like shuffles over beside Poppy and puts his head on their shoulder. It's okay. Just do it. How are you so uh. perpetually good? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rook also sidles up to Poppy and puts a hand on Frank. We're together. How is Renault? Yeah. Come here, chicken man. I'm gonna go lean up on their and their hug, and I'm gonna pull the 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 newly the newly couples over and just pull yeah, the five of us into a hug. Like holds their hand out toward I Becca. Would... These stones Ma vibrating. I'm shaking. How would you like to proceed? Wait before we do anything. There's somebody huh? else who should be part of this hug, pulling into this. Shit. I'm a mix. Yo, Mortal Kombat, get over here. <laughs> I still think Winter Soldier's better. That's it's really good. I it's agree really with Winter good Soldier. One. We'll he, figure it out. Max walks forward and just kind of. You also have to get assigned a chess piece. It's kind of a thing. I'm good with pawn. No, oh. that doesn't feel right. Pawn <laughs> does become the strongest piece at the end of the game. Who knows? I'm happy with that. Let's do it then, right? I would like everybody to make a group attack roll, please. <laughs> oh, oh, emotional. I okay. This. I got this. Do we add anything to it? Uh, add your proficiency <laughs> bonuses. Okay. And I can't. If you're a spellcaster, add your spellcasting ability. I can I twenty five. Twenty five. What was that button? Fucking twenty five. Can I waves. flavor this? 23 nice. as a steel wind strike. You fucking sure can. Stone. It's a witch bolt. Oh, yeah. If this one, if you guys want this to manifest in any way, please tell me. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving this game the way I came into it. Rolling a two. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the oh, If you don't roll with advantage right now, what? I'm going to kiss you so hard. That um, was a three. Well, good enough. <laughs> At least, hey, we stay consistent. You know what I mean? Uh, right. Not Rook a good joke either. Rook and Frank. Rook. Uh, manifests the chessboard in front of them. Um, they did roll a 15, but there's one of each piece and uh, the other side is uh, is just the king left. Um, I'm ready for a checkmate. Frank, uh, Rages one more time, just as sh focused and as sure as he's ever been about a decision. He rolled a 21 with proficiency. Perfect. Oh. Max, hold a 17. All of you begin to lay in to this, these stones with every piece of power that they've burdened you with. And as all of you in unison, as one unit, Strike. <laughs> These three stones crack as the portal in front of you begins to close. And three crone-like entity manifest in front of the three of them. The Watchers the choice has been made. Long, inhuman fingers. Frank, please, step forward. I mean, Frank looks at everybody like... <laughs> <laughs> like, are we taking them out, or are, are, am I listening to them? I don't know what has happened. I think we're... Go. Go. Do it. Go, go, go. I literally kick him in the ass. <laughs> it. 
he I drops take a, a hit point and falls unconscious. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, uh, you walk toward these three crones as all three of them yeah. begin to kind of wrap their hands around your form. You feel the abilities that you were gifted begin to fade. But a deep and intense focus, something that you have been craving for so long, settles into yourself. There's peace, knowing that this burden isn't that at all. It's just a challenge to overcome. The things that are in front of you, you're capable of. And for the first time in a while, you feel you could sleep a day, a week, a month, a year. In your body, as it shifted, you see the marks fill. As your body is once again made whole. And this thing that you were worried about losing, turns out it was there the whole time. They look at you. Thank you for your service. Live. As they look you guys forward, like, go for it. You guys like, uh, you guys like <laughs> <laughs> you see all three of them tilt their head I have no idea what that is I'll show you later wonderful okay. steps back beside Bobby looks back to whoever would wish to step forward next um Rook turns to uh Becca I don't know what's going to happen to my powers, but I will do whatever I need to make your smile as bright and big and beautiful as I know it can be. You are the reason the sun comes out, so people can see your face and I think you are crazy boy Aaron just weeping right now Aaron is totally weeping not me uh Rook uh steps forward before he goes I think she does take his hand you didn't need powers for that. So. Okay. <laughs> and then she pushes him forward. <laughs> you head forward toward these three watchers. Hands extend in a similar fashion to Frank. The one that you recall sitting opposite chess game lurches forward. I see you decided to play I always knew we could win. I know. Your heart. This thing that we have no understanding of drives many. That is what you've gained from this. Let your heart. And as they say this, it is it is strange because they're saying the words and they are resonating with you, I imagine. But there is still this lack of understanding of what these words truly mean. Light the path, set the board for them. And make sure to include yourself as life continues on. The nightmare is over. The hands wrap around, you feel the abilities you've manifested fade. But in spite of it, this deep seated, bright lantern of hope. If you could get through this, that next chess tournament is your bitch. 
you get to forge your own path. You get to set the plays. And win the fucking game. They look toward the rest of the group. Becca can go. Okay. Walk forward. She, like, squeezes Rook's hand as she walks, like, they trade places, essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Easy enough. Mm. Such light. This strange in a world so dark. Even the blind can see it. Shine bright for not only others. Direct inwards. Show that same support, strength, and kindness for yourself. Hands wrap around you. I think she pauses for a second with her hands up. She's like, whoa, whoa, gamers. <laughs> <laughs> And then I think she gets very quiet. Mm. Can I keep the look? <laughs> this quizzical. I have somebody I want to match. <laughs> now, I don't see why we can't leave this the way it is. There are no abilities tied to it. Just flavor, if you will. <laughs> yes, we can abide this for your service. Great. Thanks. You feel the abilities fade from you. The stark white streaks in your hair. The pink eye staying all the same. She walks back. Okay. Looks between the three. I think Poppy gives Max's hand a squeeze. Remember, you still got superpowers when we're done. You got robot arms. Oh, okay, yeah. You got Max it. takes a step forward, trembling the entire time. Looking up at these figures. They lurch down toward him. Hidden. So much time. Defending against constructs that don't even exist. Popularity. Care. Fear. You. Silent amidst so much suffering. You give it up. Without hesitation. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for giving them a chance. All of them. The hands wrap around Max's form. As you begin to see his arms crack, shedding away as musculature, flesh, skin breaks away. The scars still remaining, but his body made whole. He kind of Hands trembling. I am. Um... <laughs> I think Becca goes, All right, Captain America. He starts picking up <laughs> snow and just letting it melt in his hands. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. He, his knees wobbling, shaking. He just kind of walks back toward the group. As he um, kind of covers his arms, I'm fucking cold. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm cold. As he, 
as he walks forward, kind of stunned, I'm just going to go, fucking high five, I guess. <laughs> he just slaps your arm, weeping, feeling skin on skin. I think Poppy just wraps him up in a hug. He, he enveloped, he just completely, I'm so glad you're okay. You okay? I'm so glad. I couldn't have asked for anything better than this. Now and they're just squeezing his arms. I get to tattoo these. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Ooh. <laughs> He's like ecstatic, you, you know. Um, but he just he just hugs them. Um, who goes next? Knowing that Poppy should probably be the last one, considering it's their soul that was on the line. Sure. Um, Terry's going to step forward. And as he gets two steps closer to the group, he's going to go, wait, can I cast one more spell before it goes? <laughs> Give me a persuasion check and fucking do it with advantage. Mm, I'm so good at these. Chocolate. I'm not going to lie to you all right now. Do you get a nat 20? Nah, that's two threes. Going <laughs> <laughs> hey, out strong. Oh, baby. Uh, Our last three three. rolls were all threes. Oh, oh I break consistency now. You know, the game's been happening like this forever. It's just, yeah, it just makes sense. If they say no, I'm going to do it anyway. So He's, it's okay. They're just like, there quite literally is no harm in it. <sighs> okay. He's going to, as much as he is gung-ho about like, saving their friend this is this is something he finds really cool yeah so he's gonna he's gonna pull the last of the investiture as it's fading um and he's gonna take the last of his magic and he's gonna take both of his hands and put them above his head and he's gonna push the fire out with the last spell lyric he's ever gonna utter we could be immortals and as he does that, he releases one last fireball, 150 feet in the air, as a firework to the end of all this bullshit. You guys see as a spectacle light show begins to brighten up, reflecting off of the snow. Fractals of flame and ash begin to fall. Small, A small choir of sizzles begin to play around you as the embers hit, almost mimicking the sound of firefly all around you. Oh... All right, take him before I change my mind. <clears throat> uh. Live. Hope. And dream. They wrap around your form. Your ability's fading. Don't forsake human connection. It's what makes you human. He's gonna raise his hand and go for the little fire. Nothing. And when it doesn't come, cool talk, guys. And he's gonna walk away from the <laughs> group of aliens. Okay. We'll give him a big pat on the back as he. All right. Pops, you're the last one up. Um, Poppy will approach. I imagine unconsciously, there's still this fading, glimmering. Um, sword from their steel wind strike mm -hmm. and i think as they walk up even before the crones touch them um it starts shifting into this bouquet of the flowers that symbolize each of their friends is this for us they look confused <laughs> do you think you'd appreciate it I think we're beginning to fathom what a gesture is. This seems like a kind one. They offer the flowers forward. These weird, formless hands just kind of grab it. Soaks into the cloak that they're wearing. Thank you. <laughs> Still confused, but seemingly accepting this very human gesture. End of a very long road. Gates closed. World. Normal. Father safe. Uh, 
as the storms begin to wrap around Poppy. The magic fades, but the tattoo's still there. Still changed by the experience. May we never see each other again. Amen to that. Kind of look and repeat that to all of you. Good luck <laughs> with that. Wonderful. You see a long middle finger. Is this goodbye? <laughs> this is goodbye. Yes, in a this way. Is this all is goodbye. You have six aberrant middle fingers <laughs> as the dust from these three stones soak into these forms. The gate closing. As all of you stand, five normal 20 something in a field of snow. And that is where we're going to end the Yearbook Club Winter Break Adventure. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, gamers. <laughs> we didn't know we were going into the finale when no. we went into the finale. I thought we had more time. We got, a, <laughs> we got about I halfway slowed. through and I was like, is this making sense? Oh, no. I slow burn so much. You funny. Because I thought we had more time. You valid. Baby you boy. valid. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> I mean, so Parker and I were also like, so we know what we want to happen. We'll slow burn it, and then it's like final fight. <laughs> we you, gotta have some confession. <laughs> you, you, you valid, and and we, you know, maybe there's oh a future God. for these individuals. Maybe we will meet them And maybe again. we play Monster of the Week or something, where, you know, normal people are just normal. You know what? You know what? Genuine, oh Monster of the Week is, like, a fucking incredible system. Um, them all in Monster yes. of the Week would be very interesting. It'd be very yeah. fun. Oh, be so cool. Let's do that. Let us outro our players first. Oh, my God. Starting with Parker Blizz. Hi, my name is Parker Bliss. You can find me all over social media under that. I am a cosplayer, I'm a vocalist, I'm a storyteller. You can find me all over the internet, but most importantly, you can find me here every Saturday as I play in Conundrum Company. And this is where all of my organized TTRPG content goes because I am one of the innkeepers here. So thanks for being here and, and crying along with us. Thank you for Thank being you. here. Rook, Crail, please. Where can people find you? Hello, the beautiful, wonderful souls. Hi, how are you doing? Thank you for <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> um, yes, my name is Matt Captain Crail. On all things, I stream. Stream. The, 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 my channel is in chat. I stream Monday to Thursdays. I also DM the Atomless, which is yes. a new campaign Woo! that we just started on this channel. Um, it's very good. Very emotional. I love. I love this game. <laughs> very sad about it. Um, and yeah, we hang out in thing and we do goofs and it's it's very good. I hope to see you there. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Thank you for being here. Morgan. Hey everybody, thank you so much for um, traveling through this with us. Uh, it's been a time. Uh, my name is R. Morgan Slade and you can find uh, TTRPG inspired songs and shanties on YouTube at R. Morgan Slade. Um, and you can follow me on Twitter and we can talk about how wonderfully cathartic this was thank you for being here buddy aaron uh, uh. hi everybody <laughs> my name's aaron and i'm tired um <laughs> but if you enjoyed seeing me around here i am a co-founder of twitch.tv slash this shows mimic where we play organized ctrpg content but if you just like hearing my voice uh if you follow the link that uh, I've accidentally posted twice to chat and now I need to fix and we'll fix in a second. Uh, you can find me on my podcast, Dice Changers, where I sit down with one other person and we talk about TTRPG stuff. But also, go follow these people first because they're so friggin' amazing and really, really cool. I believe that's all I have to say, so kisses. Thank you, Aaron, for being here. Button, last but not least. Oh, I'm Hello, I'm Button. I'm Blue Blue Button on social media. I play here on Saturdays with Parker on Conundrum Company. And starting pretty soon, I will be on um, Delta Cryptid Sansi Saga D&D Street. Thank you for being here. Hi, everybody. 
Uh, I am Alec. I've been your dungeon master for this mini series. Sorry. Oh, oh. Buddy. Um, sorry. You need this. You can Buddy's find me okay. all places at Community DM, um, where I do all sorts of variety content, TTRPG or um, anything, whatever. Uh, we I do a D and D stream campaign called Intelligence Save every Sunday and a long shot spinoff called In Saving of the Spider's Web with some amazing people here. Um, to my players, thank you very much for letting me tell you a story. It's meant the world. Um, I hope to do it again sometime. Um, First of all, cry in Discord chat. Woohoo! Uh, with that, we're gonna do our closing announcements. Skull <laughs> Skull Gamers. Would, would you like, like sad music? Skull Split Advice. I would like to. I would like to thank our partners uh, for the channel Soundtail. Uh, Soundtail has uh, helped give everybody the beautiful music, sounds, ambiance, and emotional catharsis that we've needed through this very, very fun modern day adventure. Please check out the link in chat to sec uh, check out Soundtail. Uh, we appreciate them very much on the channel, and we love everything they're bring. They bring. I'm gonna cry. Parker, do you want to talk about our affiliates? Sure. Hi. I'm just gonna remind you that we're affiliate with Found Familiar Coffee. If you'd like to. Taste initiative, uh, support a cool DD channel, like uh, DD channel. Jesus Christ, Parker. Hello. Uh, it's late and I should have drank some found familiar coffee. Anyway, use the code of the link in chat. Um, then we're also with Crafty Gamer. Uh, they also do a wonderful little uh, thing that I love called the Aromas of Adventure uh, Immersion Candle Line, which I love. And they also have a lot of other cool things over on their thing. And then a shout out to Arcane Anthems. I think our theme worked in the beginning and might not have worked later, but he does all of our themes here on this channel. Uh, and he does uh, free D&D TTRPG music, which is really, really great. Um, and then I will do this last one as well. Perfect, uh, just uh, thank you to our wonderful moderators. I was mine today, but uh, mm -hmm. Ed Commune usually mods for us. But if you would like to join our team of mods, if you like watching our channel and you want to be more involved with the people here, we highly recommend that you go ahead and put in a mod application. We're going to be looking into those this month, and we can't wait to add people to our team. And then I think we're going to raid. Yeah, we're going to guide you guys into a raid. We're going to guide you guys into a raid. Thank you, you guys so much raid. for being here, um, and be sure to be here next Friday for Off the Rails and Saturday for Conundrum Company. We'll see you guys in the next adventure. Adios. Bye, guys.